What's up, mommies? Get ready to pull them jeans up high and tight. We're back. YMH Live 3. It's all going down November 20th. 5 p.m. Pacific and worldwide. The return of my sister, OMG Maria. Oh my God, what? And the return of the greatest YMH guest of all time, Danny Brown. Leader of the Cool Guy Club is on his way. Yes, me, Danny Brown, YMH Live. It's really happening. Plus, original music by Mark Rebier. Oh, oh my, oh yes. I can't wait to see Danny Brown react to the heavy segment. What the fuck, man? Head on over to ymhvirtual.com and get tickets now. Four Stroke Gang, Sue Woo! It's happening. I'm coming. Let's go. Yeah, there's things that like you go, okay, I feel bad. Like, yeah, you know. This is not this you feel bad, you know. Oh, <laughs> You all right? <laughs> He's okay. He's fine. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. It's time. Squarespace. Use it to build the website you've been talking about forever. Why don't you have a website? Everybody does. For any business you're doing, especially nowadays where... People aren't going out as much. Everything exists online. You need to make yourself known. Do Absolutely. it with Squarespace. Don't you agree, Segura? Of course. How can you not have a website? It is a necessity. It is. And you and need an easy way to get it done. Even if not for your business, what about your personal life? Maybe you have a wedding that you like to share photos uh, with your family. Maybe you've got a baby born that you like to share photos. What about share your writing? You know, publish share your, your writing. work. Public, do it. Get it all done. I love Squarespace. I have used Squarespace myself. Uh, I like the layouts. They're very clean, intuitive, very um, slick, slick stuff, neat stuff, cool stuff. They have it for all types of businesses, restaurants, photography, you name it. So right now, trot out, go to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to Sattva. S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $225 off your mattress purchase. Good morning, my queens above 18. Good A lot of you are asking about the King Challenge. Queens above 18. Queens above 18. Queens above 18. Queens above 18. If you're below the age of 18, get up and start the day. Come on, come on. Put the feet on the ground, get you a nice hot breakfast. Very lovely. Take that cover and be a shower. Take that cover and pull it off yourself. Take that cover and be a shower. Get up and start the day. Rains above 18. Rains above 18. Please, if you're below the age of 18, don't do this challenge. I trust you guys won't. Become 18, you can. You can do anything. King. On the front. King. On the back. You know the king likes the no bra look. And give me a dance. Rings above 18. Rings above 18. Rings above 18. Please, if you're below the age of 18, what we can do is have fun with this. Take an old white t shirt. King on the front. King on the back. The king loves you. The king loves you. The king loves you. The king loves you. And do a video. Very lovely. Please, if you're below the age of 18, enjoy. I love you all. Let's make some videos. I want to see them. I want to laugh. King. On the front. King. On 
the back. King. On the front. King. On the back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just have fun with it. All right, man. <laughs> Another banger, Queens Above 18 by Hendog. He just keeps cranking out the hits, man. <laughs> that was uh, amazing. That was just incredible. Uh, it's also on iTunes and where music is available. Way to go, Hendog, with oh another incredible song. I laughed um, so hard the entire time. All about the king. All about the king. You know, he's really taken over our YMH culture. and Yeah. And also this morning, you were having a hard time getting out of bed. I was. And I inspired you. Mm-hmm with playing his video on TikTok. Yep. He says, good morning, my queen's above 18. Get, go and get up and start your day. Breakfast is ready. And I got you. You're just beautiful. Send me, let's have some fun. Show me your boobs. <laughs> yeah. And I know it's the midterms. And don't worry, you're going to do really well on your midterms. I mean, that's a pretty young girl that has midterms. <laughs> but they're above 18, Christine. But yes, midterms in college, of course. Um, this is very exciting, <laughs> you know. I was feeling, I'm feeling we down. Have to deal with things that come to an end. We lost our main client, a friend we could always count on is moving away, or a loved one went to be with the Lord. We've seen God's blessing in the past. We know we have His favor, <laughs> but it seems like that favor has been taken away. Uh oh! Wow! But God will never remove something unless He has something better coming. That's not if true. If he didn't stop <laughs> not certain true. things, we would never get out of our comfort zone. Mm. We would stay with what's familiar. Yeah. So sometimes <laughs> God will put an end okay. to what doesn't make sense to okay. us. We don't understand why the friend walked away, why the business <laughs> pushed us out, why sales aren't what they used to be. Mm. Yeah. God is not doing that <laughs> to make your life more difficult. He's getting you in position oh, for <laughs> increase. He Ooh. had to stop what was working uh -oh. to force you to stretch uh -oh. so you could come in to greater provision, greater opportunity. Yeah, Jesus. Praise Allah. That's uh, pretty cool there. I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, the new uh, Joel Osteen inspiration cube. Nadav, you were saying that uh, you find the Christian affirmations to be like really amp like get you going. Yeah, I didn't realize that you guys are this good at, at amping yourself up for the day. <laughs> It's, it's different than, than J's? J's don't really do it like that. Really? Yeah. What's a J affirmation? They're just like, oh, you, did you remember to offer food to your guests when they come <laughs> over? <laughs> That's an affirmation. Mm -hmm. it's, just like, but, your it's, elbow's been bothering you. Remember to get it checked out. It's more mm -hmm. like you're still alive today. Congratulations, you're not dead kind of stuff. Right. Don't forget to eat your nothing but skin and bones. Yeah. You know what I love about Joel Osteen, Tom? Well, you know what on. he said there? No, one. no, I'm trying to... Take it easy, fuckhead. <laughs> oh, that's a weird one. Sorry. Go ahead. He said that God removes stuff, the good stuff from your life, to replace it with better stuff. Is that why he removed our freedom and gave us COVID <laughs> in March? That's right. He sure did. <laughs> What's he going to replace COVID with? <laughs> Hopefully a new pandemic. <laughs> Lord. I hate when people say that. It's not always true. Your yeah. life can get really wor way worse. -er. But also, if you're making an inspiration <laughs> cube, you kind of got to say things like that. Oh, right. You know? That's true. You can't be like, God takes things away, and <laughs> sometimes it's just over. <laughs> and you're like, uh, is there another sentence coming? No. Yeah. God, so, I'm so inspired by this already. It's a pretty cool concept. Um, like, I, you know, I think somebody said you probably could just have a website or an app that just plays no, these. No, but then you don't get a pushy button, and I know you and I both are into pushy buttons. Buttons are fun to push, that's true. Let me see if I can get us a winner. Okay, go ahead. What is Joel telling you? This is totally for old people, by the way. Yeah. I declare God's supernatural favor over your life. What you couldn't make happen on your own, God is going to make happen for you. Supernatural opportunity. Supernatural. Healing, restoration, breakthroughs are coming your way all right wow that's awesome that's Thanks, a good Joel. one that was super good babe supernatural favor and then it, it says here. it here too so you can see it 
Touching my camera through the Put fence, you up, faggot. Up. What the hell, man? <laughs> oh, sorry. That's the YMH cube. It's coming pretty soon. <laughs> With all the best advice we have from all our best drops. Supernatural favor. Uh, wow. That so is quite a promise to be making, This week people. is going to be incredible, by the way. I should start by telling you that, of course, YMH Live 3 oh is my God. Friday. Um, it's going to be a live show with Danny Brown. Get the fuck out of here. Original Danny music Brown. by Mark Rebier that he made just for us, um, that he performed here. Then there's uh, my, the return of my sister, Maria, which is just outrageous. I cannot believe she's going to be back on the show. I heard the tech check was pretty insane. And then <laughs> uh, we made this one available through Thanksgiving weekend. So if you can't watch live, you can watch it on Thanksgiving, the day after, Saturday or Sunday. It's available till midnight on Sunday after Thanksgiving. So we extended that so you could get the family together. Well, because we you, you queens above 18 are busy this week, probably of course, with of course. your midterms. And, and, and you've been making shirts, say <laughs> Tom on the front and Tom on the back. And you know how much I like seeing your boobs hang. So make videos, make a video. Let's have some fun with it. And, and then <laughs> I'll tell you how fun it was. So uh, that's very exciting. Um, get your tickets. I like I said, everybody goes right at the right at the showtime. If you can, if you plan on watching, um, try to get them ahead of time. You can, of course, get them after if you want to watch the show after. But that's what I recommend if you're going to watch live. And there is a insane heavy segment in this one. <laughs> As if it can't get any insane. I thought it couldn't, and then it does. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Yeah, the whole staff took it as a personal challenge. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, these live shows just get better and better and better. And I'm really excited for this third installment. We have great sketches yes. lined up. and Yes, original appearances. content. And I'm just excited to have Danny back on the couch. It's so, it's He's so wild. He's so great. He's flying out just to do our Just show. to do it. Um, another thing to mention, I, saw, I started doing Tom Talks, if you might, might have seen it on our YouTube channel. And or gotten it on the download feed. And what it is, is me talking to um, either sports figures, business people, people in pol people who we don't feel like it, this show, like if, you know, like we had Hall of Famer Tony Gonzalez on the first one. And I didn't want to be like, hey, watch this lady uh, shove a Diet Coke can up her ass. So I just wanted to have a conversation. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. Right now, they're not every week. Right now, we're going, I think, every two weeks. But there is going to be one next week if you're listening or watching now that we're very excited about. Um, and uh, yeah, that's just that's just what I'm what we're doing. Great. Also, I would like to plug this week's episode of Where My Mom's At. I normally don't do this, but this episode is really special and really insane. I have the Leanne Kreischer, wife of the party, on, and she gives you step by step. Beach techniques. Like yeah. Her proven, which you guys have talked about on Two Bears. We have, we have. And uh, that she's a queen above 18 who can really give a beach. Yeah. And she can make Bert Bagak in oh my like God. five minutes or less. And she gives me step by step detailed instructions. So if you've always wanted to know how to blow Bert, <laughs> it's, I know, I, I can't wait because. Great. You told me that I have to watch it, so I, I can't wait to see it. Well, and there's a shocking revelation that we discovered. Um, listen, I think interviewing the wives has been the best part of where my mom's at. We yeah. had Drew Pinsky's wife on, and she revealed that she yeah. and Drew, Drew gets three to five beaches a week. Yeah, she's a suck hound. She's and then, a suck hound. And then Leanne. Yeah. You're going to, it's very interesting, the dynamic that goes on between them. And I think it's going to give you guys a well, lot more insight into Bert We have more Bert to tell you about Ann. that in a moment because uh, we actually hung out with them together. Last night. Last night, yeah. For but, dinner. Um, let's open our show. We got yeah. so much to get into. All right, here <laughs> we go. You know what you need? You need to be removed from the gene pool because you're too fucking stupid to be alive. Yeah? Yeah, you do. Yeah, uh, you have yeah. no hair, sweetie. Oh, baby. Touch me. Fucking touch me. No. Fucking touch me. Fucking touch me. Touch me. Fucking touch me. Touch me. Come on. Come on, hard ass. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Yo, mama in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. 
with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Let me eat you. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Joel Osteen. I think he could use our Joel Osteen cube. This guy is so negative. This is just the short clip. The full clip of this thing <laughs> is wild. This guy um, confronts, you never see the person holding the camera, but it's clearly a woman. Mm. And he wants to throw it and he keeps being like, touch me. I'll knock your fucking head off. And you're like, I bet you would. That's crazy. He's like a 45 year old man. The funny thing is, though, he goes, you should be removed from the gene pool. And she's like, you're bald, which is obviously genetic. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> he fucking loses his mind. Yeah. This guy, man. That's, uh, yeah, he needs some Joel in his life. Yeah, he needs some positivity. Yeah. Some supernatural favor. Some some good, healthy Christianity. You fucking touch me. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. And also, too, women don't generally fight physically. Like, it's, no. it's usually not our first inclination when we see a dude like that to be like yeah, yeah i'll fucking fight you bro yeah it's weird it's not really going it's down. weird and it's weird to be a guy and be like i see just a woman you disagree with and be like how about i'll crack your fucking head open like <laughs> that's uh what a lovely a lot. clip to open on thank you for sharing <laughs> this nice little moment um it's so weird like i wouldn't i wouldn't even really dig this on tiktok when i find these i just put them aside for you it doesn't uh, amuse me i watched in the, the least i watch this is actually a clip from a uh, like three to five minute video and oh, I watched wow. the whole thing. It's and, super aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. And how did intense. you feel? You I was it. like <laughs> waiting that whole time. Like, is he going to actually yeah. hit this person? Just yeah. because, and then the person video, he just like did what she did right there. She kept going like, oh, <laughs> sweetie, like very kind of condescending. Yes. And his, you could see, I mean, you see how close he gets. Yeah. And he kept saying, touch me. And I was like, I didn't know if this person was going to go like, doop, like that. And then he just, fucking removes her face but i don't know why bitches don't even mess with dudes like this that's probably a good idea this like, guy actually for as unhinged as he is amazingly was able to restrain himself i think maybe if the yeah. camera wasn't there he'd be like oh i'm gonna punch this yeah because like i i think in my all these years of, of being on earth like now i see somebody who's crazy and i, I just turn the other way that's the, that's what away. everybody should do yeah. <laughs> like i don't i try not to intend i'm the same i see like, crazy see and i'm like no nah, no <laughs> i'm out um so by the way, I guess a lot of the listeners were also intrigued by the Inspiration Cube. <laughs> and <laughs> no, they what? went to Amazon. Wonderful. And you can no longer leave reviews for it on Amazon. <laughs> if you go into the Joel Osteen Inspiration Cube on Amazon, yes. it says <laughs> Amazon has noticed unusual reviewing activity on this product. And due to this activity, we have limited this product to verified purchase reviews. <gasps> Because people are saying things like, sometimes it takes me about 10 to 12 Benadryl before I have fun with my partner or myself, but I have to take a word for it because Joel Olstein. Um, or, uh, well, this cube be, will this cube be coming up in May? Don't want to be stingy, but I'm buying it from my dad, Mark. And the answer, I'm not sure. Once I sell out, I doubt any more will be coming in. Have a blessed day. <laughs> So a genuine answer to like, will this be coming up in May? Um, you betcha. I love this cube. My Uncle Fed Smoker got me this from Falcon Car Wash. I have to say the positive affirmations are the only thing keeping from ending it all. Some of my favorite sayings are, keep the mind type. Just keep fathering your brother. Don't be stingy. Cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. 87 people found this helpful. <laughs> um, question does this cube follow proto it keeps telling me to feather it threatening to fire me and call me r word the answer even the seller agrees this cube will help you keep it high and tight allow you to be less stingy to your markley neighbor see yeah. more answers yeah more this choma will set your brain on fire and full strokes guaranteed daddy daddy joel sounds like a real cool guy 108 people found this helpful 
Um, <laughs> does anyone know the dimensions? I hope normal size and not that big. And the answer is, you know, five, 4.5 inches tall. But I, ha I haven't had mine very long. Just listen to a few. So oh you get a, a real answer. Not too big. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that this was gives very me fun. so much joy. I know. This kind of um, this childishness really makes me happy. <laughs> you know, Johnny Pemberton hit, hit me up this week, and he goes, he I guess he just found out. He goes, "Have you been to Garth's Instagram?" <laughs> and I go, "Yeah." And he was like, "Did you do that?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Well, uh, maybe." Well. Um, there we go. There's <laughs> 2,000 comments there. Let me guess. None of them have anything to do with something that he's talking about. <laughs> with whatever the... I can't read it from here. I but think it's at this point, it's our... Only poor people drink tap water. It's and, our yeah, artwork. Googling. Yeah. <laughs> this is like performance art, Tom. Yeah, it is. This is a happening. There should be a documentary <laughs> just on his Instagram. <laughs> There should be a documentary on the mommies and yeah. their their ability to enhance um, any digital platform. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the uh, oh god, this is so funny. We have a new Garth clip too. Oh shit, let's I see. It. I don't know where it came I from, see but it. it is so Ugh. strange. They showed me this, and I was like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" <laughs> Which is my favorite type of Garth clip. <laughs> um, so here's Garth on copyright. Okay. Does he fucking cry? You gotta try to understand that, that copyright <laughs> is the coming together of creative, soul, all the things inside. So now let's take copyright, because it's, it's not a leap. As a child, that child is born, who's gonna protect that child? Oh boy. There's copyright to protect it. So if there's one thing that I would beg and plead our government to do, Copyright is a beautiful thing. Protect the children. To protect that copyright. A copyright <laughs> is everything. Protection of that copyright is everything. Let's work together to preserve the arts because a nation is not a nation without its culture. And its culture is a result of its copyright. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, the fact that he can talk about copyright in that podunk completely artificial yeah manufactured yeah way, relating it to protecting a child yeah don't break my heart mate what is his music That's i don't even him. know his music <laughs> what does he sing i got friends yeah, 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 it's go. a good song it's a good song and guess what it's got a great copyright yeah you're not allowed to steal that song do you think there's a topic that he ever gets light-hearted on I don't know. He was about to weep there. I know. About but that's what I'm saying. They can ask him about, like, Garth, what'd you have for lunch today? Well, <sighs> Miss Yearwood made me a macaroni and cheese that. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have any copyright. My mama used to make me he, macaroni and I cheese. I mean, I just. Jesus. The fact that you can talk about business, this is a business conversation. Yeah. Hey, man, uh, yeah, co well, copyright's really important because it protects the... The artist. Yeah. yeah. And, um, That's how you make money. Yeah. What, what he's saying is, <laughs> I love being rich as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and if you were to ruin my copyright, I'd make less money, and that would piss me off. And that's a truthful answer. There you go. Not copyright is a baby, you must protect the baby. Yeah, but it's he's like, talking just... to all those fucking ass thumbers that go to his <laughs> show that are like, Garth even knows that copyright is special. Like he's making them think that it's like he's talking about family. You Look know? at that psychotic stare. You know what though? He looks good in this clip. Mm -hmm. I think he, he sent out Is this an bit. old clip? Copyright. It's uh, within the last six months. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. he looks good. He's been, uh, he did well in quarantine then. Yeah. Copyright. Yeah. Sure is. yeah. Miss Yearwood and Miss okay. You. Would you like to do some uh, follow-up emails from our last? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Very important topic. Sure. Go ahead. Hi, mommies. It's Christina, the airline pilot, and I'm not surprised to hear that Tom was farting it up after flying. After all of my trips, the moment I get to my car, I blow that shit up. Then once I get home, I unleash even more farts on my innocent fiance. 
I have even had a fellow airline pilot send me a video of himself getting to his car after a trip and letting them rip. Mm -hmm. So yes, I have to say the altitude does have an effect on farts. The only advice I can give is that if at all possible, let out some silencers on board. Otherwise, those farts will build up. Always keeping them high and tight, Christina. Thank you. Well, that's really neat to to hear that from a pilot too, right? The expert. The expert. And a lady pilot. My goodness. Very rare. She really knows. She knows her farts. So this is the email. It says, Jeans, I wanted to point out the drunk Scotsman was being racist. Real racist. I didn't know this. I didn't know this. He was calling the person in the window a Fenian bastard, meaning Irish. The racism towards the Irish in Scotland goes back to the Great Famine and them being told to go back home. Anyway, just wanted you to know that guy was way cooler than maybe you even imagined. <laughs> Mind your fucking pricks. Spray water, you fucking assholes. Mind your fucking bastard. I'll fucking do you. <laughs> Mind your fucking prick. Come here. Come here, you chicken ass, chicken shit bastard. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, I'm putting this in face Come here, you fucking Come here, you fucking You're finny in the Scotland looks fun. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it is fun. I yeah. love it. I, I visited there in, in college. I, I love it. I want to go. It's delightful. The people are great. The food is great. Yeah beautiful accents they can handle their booze yeah they yeah. party they party but hard. I, that's it's nice to know that there's a cool guy who's got another layer to him you know he's yeah. even cooler i like and then racism towards whites is always a fun one it's fun it's special yeah it's um it's unique um yeah go ahead i also have a follow-up on our discussion of Reese's peanut butter cups hi jeans hi hitler i recently heard the debate on how you pronounce Reese's. As someone who grew up right outside Hershey, Pennsylvania and has spent days in Hershey Park growing up, I feel like it's my life's duty to step in. You uh, 100% pronounce it as Reese's. P.S. Christine committed stolen valor. Reese's. And this is somebody from the area. This is somebody who grew up going to Hershey Park. Yeah, and I and I want to point out that I was saying Reese's, you know. Yeah, Reese's I know, pieces. but but you're Reese's tarted. That mm-hmm. makes a lot of sense. I'm not whatever you just said, <laughs> as I don't believe that's a thing. Well, I still stand by my pronunciation. It's Reese cups, mm-hmm. but it's Reese's Reese's pieces. Um, Reese's. Got to tell you, this is a. Pretty, pretty groundbreaking thing here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to say I love the podcast. Listen to it every week at work. The audio in the video with the guy farting that was played around 47 minutes in the podcast was actually made using the audio from a guy on TikTok called Gas Master. So Christina was indeed correct with her suspicion considering the legitness of the video. Thank you. By the way, this dude is amazing and a fan of yours, I believe. I've seen him tagging you guys in some of his TikToks, so definitely check him out. Next time, remember to do your job or you're done, buddy. Don't be stingy. <laughs> so I guess this is the original fart oh, video. Okay. <laughs> Holy now, shit. It does so they took the audio. That's the one where the... The, the guy was laying on the chair, right? Mm. And you see just the legs. That was a remember? woman we thought laying We thought down. it was a woman. Um, you know what somebody f- told me? What's that one called? It's called that? Longest fart in history. It's in the same folder. It's in the same. Oh, Which, so this is uh, this is the video. That's a highly debatable. It's the... Charo had the longest fart in history. Yeah. So this person took the... The um, audio. Yeah. Wow. And by the way, I got a message. A lady said that she's a massage therapist. And she goes, <laughs> I've been a massage therapist for 12 years. And I can tell you without a doubt mm. that those legs and feet that you see there are man's. <laughs> and, and her theory was that it's a man here, and that's the mother that yeah. we're looking at, okay. the kid, okay. right? So. <laughs> <laughs> but this person ripped that audio. Oh, got gotcha. you. So, so it's it, stolen valor. It's stolen fart valor. Yeah, it's definitely. Stolen fart valor. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We can't condone that on this show. Speaking of, uh, I wonder how King Ass Ripper is. Can we get a an update from Zolo if you could do some 
research. Do some digging. Sure, it's yeah, we'll a, dig around. It's been a while. Um, I also want to point out sure. that it is true. There is a bias in the lamestream media that continuously targets the right mm -hmm. and doesn't do enough of uh, honest you know, assessment, critique of what's going on on the left. And one of our listeners found that to be true, too, and I'd like to acknowledge them. And, um, yeah, here's what it says. It says, hey, mommies, with all the election talk in this week's episode um, and comments on big old lady tits from the big-ass pervert, I can't help but notice that no one has acknowledged Nancy Pelosi's massive 80-year-old sloppers. Mm. Madam Speaker has some real mushy mommy milkers. <laughs> She's always in these sassy tight blue suits that hug those purples closely. I'm curious mm. to hear your thoughts to quell my concern in this contentious political climate. You bet I'm coming, in, <laughs> coming up in May. Evan oh, from wow. Illinois. I mean, she's 80 years old. She looks and, great. I mean, she does have big tits, and I feel like the news never talks about never it. Never talks about it. I agree. And it's what we do here at your mom's house is talk about the hard-hitting issues exactly. nobody's willing to discuss. Even these media outlets here are covering up yeah, her tits. It's a conspiracy. They're, okay, what about the... Okay, let's see. See, she yeah. knows how to dress, but see, I wouldn't do That's a such a form fitting dress. It is, but she's doing a higher neck there, which actually like today I'm doing it. It makes her tits look bigger. Uh -huh. It's not a good tactic. Those are big. And I will say they look amazing because she's 80. I know she looks great, but the, but those tits don't look 80. No, they don't. That's a good shot. Yeah, right those there. are good milkers. Yeah, now, she's got a good bra, too. That's what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. I think her bra is a very strong choice, and that's why they look high and tight and not big and mushy like mine right she doesn't have like a couple no, of state droopers even state droopers it yeah. even it, oh there they are they look a little droopy here yeah, a little bit yeah now in the lady blazer they're covered up so she knows how to cover and camouflage right her there pants. that's a big tit shot Whoa, right there oh big tit this energy woman, is she really 80 years old she looks great i mean 80 look when you see you see 80 80 looks like shit usually yeah. like 80 you're like hey over here you know and someone's like, oh. <laughs> like she really holds it together I wonder if her parents lived long. Like she just has like those great, like those strong, lucky, big titted genetics. Big you know? tit genes, yeah. yeah. Well, I, Pelosi is what Italian. Pelosi. Sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's got. Yeah, she a guinea. Can you look it up? She's got them Italian fucking titty greasy genes. wop, big titted <laughs> wop. From the top, make it drop your big ass yeah, milkers. Yeah, Italian American family. Yeah. Yeah. She was the only yeah. girl, the youngest of seven children. Of course, they never stop fucking goddamn Catholics. <laughs> All right. Well, those are big milkers. Thank you so much for thank pointing, you so much for pointing that out. out. And and thank you. And we're calling you out. NBC, CNN, <laughs> New York Times. Where's the article on Pelosi's big tits? <laughs> um, Hold on, I have another one. Okay. Go Apropos right ahead. our discussion about dick brooms. I was listening to episode 577 when Talk and Krusty were discussing the phrase dick broom. I, much like the FGTRTDs in the booth, never heard the expression before. Once the conversation got going, I quickly realized they were talking about dusters. I've been around hockey most of my life, and the common nickname for a mustache has always been duster, short mm. for cock duster. Yeah. Maybe this is the Canadian version of dick broom, but I think it's an easy switch you should make if you want to follow Proto. Anywho... If Tom needs his meth dick dusted, you bet I'm coming up in May. Piss on me, beat me. Respectfully, Zach. Wow. Dick cool. He didn't fall proto, buddy. You're done. <laughs> um, a cock duster. I yeah. like that. I like that, Canadians. Canadia. So, um, also want to point this out. This is pretty exciting. <laughs> I, don't know, I know you don't follow football, but yesterday there was a, a really, really incredible play. In football, if you're like down to the last few seconds of a game and you need to score a touchdown it's referred to as a hail mary right hail mary meaning like it's just last throw it up last just see what yeah it's like it's a prayer that's what it is oh. right? it's a prayer because you're like if this doesn't work you know so that's why they, they they call it a hail mary and josh is a diehard buffalo bills fan and his team was up with a few seconds left and arizona uh was playing from behind and they threw up a hail mary and they won. And it was mm. incredible. These are the kind of plays that happen like once a year, you know, in like the whole league, maybe, maybe twice. So they're, they're just, they're super exciting and people go nuts because they're just incredible to see. And 
the player who caught the ball, it was just amazing athleticism. It, it, uh, unbelievable. His name was DeAndre Hopkins. Well, last week when I did Roach Motel, Josh said this. Mm. If you had to leave here right now and go eat some player's asshole in the next room. I've got a list. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably going receiver, though, right? I got a list. Yeah, okay. they top my list. Uh, okay. DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, my God. Asshole I'd eat the most. Can we see DeAndre Hopkins, folks? Mm, no, that's a nice ass. <laughs> that's the guy. So, because uh, he is so... Just... In, he is so you got to get him off-field clothes. Because he, yeah. like, this is a guy that buys purses. Yeah. Like, for his dog and shit. Like, he has, like, he dresses like Paris Hilton mm. Yeah, when he's out in the streets. Let's see him on street clothes. Yeah, I'd like to see him. I know he's got dreads and shit, but I'm telling you, that shit is, like... There you go. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. He also had a, oh a pretty hearty dick pic get leaked, and I oh. tried to take the bullet for him and be like, no, that's my dick, and then he blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> His dick pic got leaked? <laughs> How'd it get leaked? I don't know, but I tried to help out. Is his face in the shot? <laughs> no. Oh. It's just his dick. And uh, I was like, nah, that's my dick, dude. And then he blocked me <laughs> for that. Yeah. Well, that DeAndre. So the week that he's this so clip. He's so handsome. He's very, yeah, he's a very handsome man. The week that this clip comes out, DeAndre sticks a dagger in Josh's heart. Unreal. Re- and, and Josh had just <laughs> offered to eat his ass. I mean. Is, the reason the, that conversation came up, by the way, Josh brought this up to me years ago, and I, I laughed so hard. Where he said, like, do you think certain positions in football have dirtier buttholes than other positions? Yeah. And yeah. we had this really long, we still talk about it all the time. Like, yeah. my theory was offensive linemen have the dirtiest assholes. And his was like, Mm-mm, I think defensive linemen have the. D-. And so we were talking about who has the most neglected asshole, which then led to, well, who has the most pristine asshole? And he mm. said, receivers, of which Mr. Hopkins is DeAndre one. DeAndre is, yeah. Yes. And then, yeah, it led to all this conversation. Anyways, DeAndre just crushed him yesterday. Oh, well, I will say say that i give cockroach props for being there before the hail mary do you know what i'm saying like he got in on the bottom floor he Mm. believed in deandre before this whole thing happened and like deandre should at least considered getting his asshole eaten by josh just on that alone i don't know i don't know i don't know if he should um (laughs) you don't think that he would enjoy that i think josh would love to give it we can i i think that deandre (laughs) wouldn't like any of these ideas (laughs) Um, Josh, by the way, if you want to see that or any of his upcoming podcasts, they come out, uh, Tuesdays at 6 a.m. Roach Motel, which is soon to be renamed. I can say that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, to the Josh (laughs) Potter show very soon. Rate, review, and subscribe it on iTunes. It's very funny. He's very, very funny. Um, so yeah, I I like how DeAndre dresses. That's really cool. cool. Yeah. Wow. Big, big, Good big drip, man. Style. Big drip. Yeah. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like going to the bathroom and having violent diarrhea and not even closing the door. Now everybody is peeking in and going, what did you eat? Internet service providers like Comcast or Verizon know every single website you visit. They know I love panties. ISPs can sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you and try to get you to buy more soiled panties. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so your online activity can't be seen by anyone and you're just panty shopping on your own. It works on phones, laptops, even routers so everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can be protected. I use ExpressVPN on my phone, on my laptop, watch Netflix from other countries, look at websites from all over the world. They make it easy. Secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash your mom today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash your mom. You can get an extra three months free expressvpn.com slash your mom. This holiday season, more people will be mailing stuff Uh, than ever before and that means the post office is going to be super busy and you don't have time for that stamps.com brings the post office and now ups shipping how great is that right to your computer you can mail and ship anything from the convenience of your home 
or office with stamps.com. You can do anything you do at the post office with just a few clicks. Plus, stamps.com saves you money with deep discounts you can't even get at the post office. Listen to this. With stamps.com, you get five cents off every first class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail and up to 62% off UPS shipping rates. Don't spend a minute of your holiday season at the post office this year. Sign up for stamps.com instead. There's no risk. With my promo code MOM, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in MOM. That's stamps.com. Enter MOM. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. Um, so next week, yeah, next week when we record will be, let's see, the 23rd. Yeah, I'll be fasting that day because the next day <laughs> I have a colonoscopy. I actually mm-hmm. signed up and I'm doing it. Well, the listeners, if you've been listening to us for years, mm-hmm. you know that Tom has had, you've had this on the books and then we've had to push it, cancel it, move it for years. And I'm so proud of you that we're finally doing this. We need to get to the bottom of these runny dumps and stinky farts. And I'm just so excited I told, for you. I told the... Uh, GI the doctor Mm -hmm. I told him I will be so disappointed if you're like everything's fine (laughs) I know he's like just more fiber it's totally normal eat Metamucil you're like what I want you to tell me that something that there's something to do but tell everybody what like they're going in they're going both holes yeah no first I get an ultrasound they're gonna do an ultrasound in your booty hole no no like so they can see the uh, uh, gallbladder that goes sometimes like people have issues from that then they're gonna put a scope up my ass and down my throat at the same time, finger yep. cuffs, mm-hmm. nice. and then he jerks you off while he's doing oh, that. It's pretty sweet. cool. No, um, so that'll be. He's like, we're. He's like, we will find whatever. <laughs> we'll find he's, we're gonna find it. We're gonna find gum. But I have to fast, um, the twenty third, and just do liquid, and oh, then man. beginning at four p.m. on the twenty third, which is. A Monday, mm-hmm. I uh, I drink my first laxative shake, <laughs> and then I drink another one at seven p.m. Okay, yeah. Now, may I tell you something? Because I've heard that the prep for the colonoscopy that's, is so fucking horrendous. That's what this is. And you know what's crazy? You just said that you start the first at four p.m. So that's your first laxative. And, and I've then, had nothing to eat all day. Right. So you're 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 taking a laxative on an empty stomach. Explosion. Now, the, I'm curious as to why they make you shit all night. You're going to be because up. Because they want you completely empty. Before the morning procedure. Well, they, just you, want, they want you to go in with nothing in your digestive tract. I know, but why can't you, why do you have to stay up at night to do all this? Can't you just shit during the day and then sleep? That's what, that's I, what I don't, I don't understand. Because you're going to be up all night. No? No, because, I mean, I've done these before, and it's, uh, because if you do it in the beginning of the day, that's just more time where you have to, like, fast longer. Like, oh, they're just okay. trying to make it so Expedite. that the window is as short as possible. Gotcha. Will you be live tweeting from the toilet? Um, I might be doing, um, IG live, you know? That's a great idea. <laughs> Bring you guys into the toilet and, and listen and hear me down. That would be so great. Yeah. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep in the guest room that night because I think you need your space. I think it's gonna be a lot of shit coming out of me. Yeah. I think it'll be a lot of trips to the toilet. Yeah, the dog told me to bring a laptop into the toilet and just watch a show because <laughs> she's like, you, you're just it's gonna shit bad. so much. Yeah, yeah, it's because I mean you don't want to go to the toilet every five minutes, every ten minutes. Because now two days before twenty second, I feel like I should have a big meal. Do you think that's right? a good idea? No, I don't mean like gorge myself. I just mean. Yeah. Eat something because like I'm not allowed to eat anything on the 23rd at all mm-hmm. or the 24th. I can't even have water after midnight. Maybe save it for after the colonoscopy. I don't think really? you want to. I don't think you want to have like a treat yourself meal right before. Just eat normal. Well, because it's like however big it is. It's like the time on the toilet is just going to be extra rough. Oof. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You, you kind of want to eat normal. Right? Ease into right. it. Ease I out wanna of plan, it. I want to plan my post colonoscopy meal. Yeah, dude. Whatever you want. Now, that's the thing, N- Native. Will he be able to like. He said right away. But I'm saying, like, will he feel like filling himself up with food or will you feel nauseous? Will you feel like you don't know? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, like, because you're going to be put down, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you'll feel like a little weirdness afterwards. Um, But hungry as fuck, I'm sure. um, Yeah. I mean, it'll take like an hour or two probably to kick in just because you feel all weird and groggy. But like, uh, yeah, dude, treat yourself that day. I went out to ice cream after my colonoscopy. Aw. That was your first treat? 
Well, yeah. We should plan like either. What, all if, I, what if I come out and he goes, hey, man, I never did this before. <laughs> but while you were down, I butt fucked you. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's what? like, I just wanted to. Looked good. Looked so good. empty. Wait, you're not going to have a morsel of brown in your intestines. No. Like not even. I mean, that's what they said. A hint of brown. I mean, think about it. The, the day before I have n- no solids. Right, so there's a fast, and then you take two laxatives. It's wild, dude. So it just cleans you out, man. It's so wild. So I was talking to someone, what? Could be a good time to try the scrum right after that procedure. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? When you're under, I'm gonna sneak in and lick it as you're sleeping, as (laughs) he's drinking you Oh, you fucking liar. But, um, so I was talking to a girl who, she goes, dude, I've had like intestinal problems for years. Like years, I thought I had IBS. Turns out I had a parasite in my intestine. And I didn't know about it. I got food poisoning years ago from this place, from oh broccoli or something. And I had a fucking, par- she had a parasite and she just had to take drugs to kill the parasite. She's like, I just felt tired and and anxious and da da da. And I thought I had IBS. You yeah. could have a parasite in there. You've had food could. poisoning a few times. Could, I could, yeah, that could. And you Who eat knows? around the world. Like comics, we eat. Yeah. Everywhere we, sh- we should at least have hepatitis B, right? Is not I the fucking food hope porn? so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. What I'm if I, what if I come out? And he's like, you know what it is, man. And I go, what? He goes, it's syphilis. I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, yeah. So many years. He's like, you have so many STDs. And I'm like, I, I really? Oh Good. He's like, yeah, they're all old. They've been there it's making you shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh. okay. I didn't think about that. Yeah, um, we I'm had the uh, we had Barf Kirshner and his wife Leanne over. <laughs> Barf Kirshner, and uh, I love them so. They are much. so fun. You God, know, he can drink. He can drink. He came in. He the made house. me drink. I didn't realize because you're around him. You're <laughs> like I should be like this guy. It's like, and I just started drinking. I never drink that much. This morning I couldn't wake. I couldn't get out I of bed. I know my queen above eighteen. This queen was just like, <laughs> did you make my coffee? Because I was struggling, man. <laughs> Well, he came over and within seconds, he's like, yeah, yeah, give me something to drink, push, push, give me wine, give me wine, give me wine. Mm -hmm. And then um, I just, I love, I think that we've been friends with him for so long that I feel so comfortable. We both feel so comfortable, all of us, that I I let the biggest fart out after dinner. And it was like, it it was just, it was lovely that we could feel that close to them. It's, they're a lot of fun to be around. They yeah, really are. I'm so thankful they're friends. I really he said, adore he them. He made me laugh so hard because <laughs> so we're all sitting around afterwards on the couch and said something about her birthday. And he's like, he's like, man, it's 50 now. And, I, and then I go, I jokingly was like, you know, I can't even relate to you guys because I'm so much younger than you guys. It's like mm-hmm. Leanne's 50, Bert's 48, you're 44. I go, I'm 41. Like you guys are way older than me. <laughs> I don't even know what, like when I'll be 50. And Leanne goes, well, in nine years. And then I go, yeah. And she goes, and I'll be about 60 when you're 50. And then Burke goes, that's so gross. So (laughs) gross. He's like, it's gross. You're gross. Uh, (laughs) Just for aging. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But you know what I think? They're going to stay together forever. Yes, And I think it's because... In a way, they have a similar dynamic to us, but a diff- a, an opposite one. So let me explain. You and I try to be really kind and sweet to each other, I think, and honest at the same time. They're honest, but like brutally honest. They're so harsh to each other. It's it's a different, it's harsh as fuck, but yeah. it's still love. It's still like. It's love, but it's it's, it's just the um, <laughs> the wavelength is different, you know? Yeah. Like, like she'll be like, you're just fat. And it's. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, oh my god, that would hurt so bad. Yeah, he's like, you look old, okay? Yeah, like yeah. Just, they just say things like so much harsher. Or just when Bert's telling a story, she'll correct him factually. Oh my god, Last he night, gets was so, so worked up. He's like, can you just let me tell a fucking story? And she's like, well, if it was true, <laughs> you're making stuff up. He's like, shut up, God. Yeah, and Bert eats faster than you, uh-huh. which is crazy. It's like, crazy. It makes me feel like I'm eating slow. Yeah, slowly. I mean, man, I, I took one bite and he'd cleared his bowl, mm-hmm. his dog bowl. Yeah. It's always been like that because everybody my whole life was like, Tom, you eat so fast. You got to slow down. 
<laughs> and like one of the first times we had dinner together, I was on my second bite and he was like, he was like done. And I was like, <laughs> holy shit, man. He was like, yeah, I eat fast. <gasps> <laughs> and then he was like <laughs> burping every two seconds. He's like, I always burp a lot. I was like, I think I know why. <laughs> you just ate a steak yeah, yeah. in 15 seconds. Does he enjoy it? Why does he do that? What's the know. It's just, you know, he has that like anxiousness. Yeah. Of like consuming. <laughs> He when, drank we, when we do podcasts, he has like six drinks. Yeah. He has Kool Aid, <laughs> water, iced coffee, Diet Coke, and Red Bull. All. And he's like <laughs> sipping all of them. Yeah. Leanne said the, well, he drank a lot of wine last night. Let's just say I think I, yeah. I brought out like six bottles. Mm -hmm. And I think Bert drank five. <laughs> And Tom and I drank like one between. No, and Leanne I, and drank so like nothing. I think he. Drank. I think he only drank, to be honest, like four bottles of wine. Last night. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not five. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, whatever. Because yeah, yeah. um, I, 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 and lined of course, them. was also fine. Fine. That's the thing he, he does. Like, it was great. Change. Thanks, guys. I and by the way, I brought up if for those of <laughs> you that saw the two bears live, he was shit house. Okay, and I go, dude, I've seen you drink. Like my whole, whatever, the whole time I've known you and you'll drink like a handle of vodka and you'll be like, you ready to go? And I go, and then on the Two Bears Live, you were absolutely sloshed. Like what happened? <laughs> and he goes, because it was pressure. I felt pressure to drink. Right. And so I was, uh, I don't like feeling like it has to be in a condensed period of time. Mm-hmm. Because that show was only like two and a half hours or something. Oh, so he felt like he had a pound. So he was like in. pounding, pounding. And he goes, and it was like, it was accelerated and it was a mixture of vodka and wine. No. <laughs> Dude, there was one point in that. Do we have that clip? Do you have the Andre vodka. Risen clip or no? You don't. Vodka and wine? God, I would he die. Was like, we were talking to Sean Evans and he goes, remember Andre <laughs> Liza left that lover? I was like, I mean, he slurred a whole sentence. I was like, I've never heard you do that. No, because Burke is normal when he's drunk yeah you do not even notice there's no difference <laughs> it's so great yeah. he um i will say to his credit by the way because i've known him we've known him what 15 17 years now yeah, yeah. and the chrysler's we used to live on this on the same street they lived way up a bit I in the better part of town mm -hmm. and i'd go we go to their house remember when they used to live in like an apartment essentially back yeah. when we we're all broke ass comics and i remember that's when he started doing Rogaine. He started taking yeah. his Rogaine. And he would rub it on. He's like, I'll take a Rogaine. And we would make fun of him so much. Yeah. But then. It Who's worked. got hair now, bitch? It yeah. Worked. It, it worked. And I will give him full credit because yeah. he still has hair. So that shit works, homie. Not in the back. Not in the back. Doesn't matter. But the front stayed. <laughs> um, here, check this out. We all have to deal with things that come to an end. We lost our main client. A friend we could always count on is moving away. <laughs> or a loved one went to be with the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that wasn't even planned. That, that was, was just pretty magic. Amazing, yeah. um, <laughs> that was divine intervention. So if you're just less listening, a man is walking down or the street and a crane just falls and crushes. Oh my god! Like it lands on a car and hits him in the head, and he. You know, but he's fine. That guy's fine. No, he's totally fine. He is. He's okay. You don't think he's okay? I don't think he's okay. I mean, he's not dead. They, How do you they know? got they you, got him up. You think he went to work the next day? I think he's totally <laughs> fine. I think he went to work from here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that hit him in the shoulder. He got real lucky. Like the contact was a, was very powerful, but it, he's holding know. his head. His head is a little shook up, but the shoulder is what got hit. I mean, imagine the surprise of that. You, you're just, uh, yeah, because you don't know what happened. You're just walking down the street yeah. and something clobbers you like that. I know, I know. <sighs> That's bad luck. Thank God there's but a camera. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Can I tell you what happened to me while you were gone? You mm -hmm. went to Alabama. Yeah. And your shows were fun, you said. Well. Way well, up town. Um, I'll you tell at, you this. Did you look at real estate for us? I'll tell you this. People shit on Alabama a lot, not just nationally, internationally. You say Alabama, people have all these negative kind of, you know, things that you could argue that in a way that they've earned. But um, Huntsville, if you don't know, which most people don't, is surprisingly... Um, 
like just nice people are super nice they're smart they're cr like the crowds are good and if you're like come on i'm serious like huntsville has rocket scientists and engineers all over the place because of space stuff. yeah yeah awesome. they have like they have multiple companies that that um work in like spacecraft and engineering and all, all this like you know defense stuff and that's um, crazy and it and and it's you you know that permeates the culture so you're there and you're it's it's impressive. Like Huntsville is an actually a very cool city. I think you're mispronouncing it, isn't it? Huntsville? No, no. no when we used Huntsville. to read our dates, wasn't it Huntsville? Maybe back then. But it, it, I'll tell you, I had a really good time. I'll definitely do shows in Huntsville. Oh, you'll be again. coming back in May, huh? I'll come up and see you in May. You better believe it. <laughs> and I know you're a good lover, Huntsville. Uh, no, but thank you to everybody that came out. We did six shows, socially distanced. They moved the front row back six feet. They nice. reduced the capacity. People had masks on. And you got tested the minute I you came home on the driveway. I got tested before and after. Yeah. So okay. And Jeff Tate was with me and he was outrageously funny. It was oh, really, it was, God, it feels so good to do stand up. It's I so bet. fun. I'm going to, you bet I'm coming up in May. May the is going to be can. a good one. Yeah. Once those vaccines. Um, what was, what was I going to say now? Oh, two things. First of all, I've decided to learn my geography. Yeah, because you don't know where things are. Mm -hmm. There's LA and then not LA. Right. And I've decided that that might be a narrow way of thinking. That's a really progressive thought to you know come to. Thanks. Well, especially because now we're looking to move elsewhere. Yeah. And I wanted to learn what America was about. Jesus. So I bought a map of America, like yeah. a puzzle, uh -huh. and I do it with our four-year-old. And how did you <laughs> like the? First, were you are you surprised? Like, oh, I didn't know that's what that was um, the whole time. I'm R worded to the max. Yep. I I knew the big ones, like I knew the coasts. I know yeah. Florida because I've been there a bunch. And here's the saddest part is that I'm a touring comedian. Yeah. So I knew the states that I've toured. I don't I didn't know where the Dakotas were. Blank is a fart. Not sure. Even Wisconsin, I'd been there and I was like, yeah. that's not up there. There's I'm no way that's good. far up there. I'm not like there are people better than me at it. I'm pretty good. But I'm I lived in different states. You know, like a uh, number. Of, yeah. So I lived in Ohio, Minnesota. I know Wisconsin. where Ohio is. That's I fair. lived in North Carolina and I would drive back to <laughs> Florida. So I got like that area. Then I, I lived for a moment in D.C. And, uh, and you know, I lived for a beat in Boston. That's so like, up here. DC. That's like uh, that's <laughs> that's there's the, two uh, Washingtons. Did you know that? I did know that. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I knew that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, like that whole Rhode Island, Maine, Don't know that Vermont area. stuff. That's always perplexing. Yeah. The other one that I'll forget because, and it's, I think it's like if when you live somewhere, obviously you have approximately like, I'll def. If you gave me a blank map, and you go, which one's Kansas, which one's Missouri, I'd be like, oh, fuck. that's like, I get tripped I'll take up a second too. on that because that, that's all in the same region. Uh, region yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I know the West Coast, Utah. And By the way, speaking Arizona. of uh, the Dakotas, um, <laughs> there are reports. And this is pretty neat. Pretty cool that stuff. That they predict the infection rate of COVID in South Dakota will be 100%. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> they believe that the state will get infected. Now, this is, I'm just reporting what the reports have been. So it might change, might change by the time you see this. But there were reports about that uh, over the weekend, which I thought was pretty fascinating. Um, to put that in context for you. That's crazy. Um, South Dakota has just under 900,000 people and <laughs> they've had so far about 600 deaths. Oh my goodness. And uh, South Korea has 51 million people and they've had uh, 450 deaths. Mm. So I was going to say, yeah. Now the reason for this, by the way, it's not just like, well, you know, what's going on. The, the theory is that yeah, although it's not a very populated state, um, South Dakota gets very cold. And as mm. we've shifted the weather getting colder, the, the idea is that people are now congregating indoors all the time. Yeah, it makes in sense. In a cold weather state more, and it's spreading, and it's a smaller population spreading around. 900,000 people is like the San Fernando Valley. It's nothing. Oh, it's that, that, there's more than that for sure here. Yeah, that's wild. So that, yeah. that poor population, I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable how yeah. this whole thing is happening. But... I, I don't mean to laugh at people dying. I just laughed at like 900,000 people is what I was like. That's yeah, nothing. That's I know. Nobody. It is wild. Um, but I had a really neat thing happen this weekend while you were gone. I was watching uh, my programs on Netflix. I'm really into... Programs. That's how a very old person says <laughs> shows. What program well, are you watching? Here's what I like to do. I take my two milligrams. I mm -hmm. take my reefer. 
I smoke my grass. I eat my grass. I take the pot. And then I, I zone out. I watch Netflix. I'm into the Queen's Gambit right now. I think you might really dig it. It's, yeah. not, it's about chess, but it's not. It's a, it, anyway, the point is, I'm petting the dog. I'm having a great night with Bitsy. I'm zoning out. I'm in there. I get up to take a piss. Yeah, there's the show. Mm-hmm. I walk to the, the turlet, and I step in the squishiest, warmest, illest, mm. stinkiest fucking pile of dog diarrhea. And by the way, we have wood floors. This motherfucker shit on the carpet. That's just covering the wood. You know what I mean? Like she had Ugh. all this wood and she chose our nice fucking carpet. That's where she shit last time too when I stepped in it. <laughs> so it's nine o'clock. What I'm is she doing shitting there? I don't know. And it's diarrhea. So I scream. Ugh. And of course I flick my foot up because I'm barefoot stepping in shit. And now I've flung like diarrhea yeah. on our floor so I'm like freaking out. What the fuck? And then I first thing I do, I go to the shower, clean the diarrhea off my foot, which is, I don't know if you've had dog shit. You have. It, there's nothing more repugnant. It's so, it's so it's so horrifying. I clean it up and then uh, here I am. I Thank God I got that steam cleaner and I'm fucking steam cleaning. And the smell of the dog shit, I think, is still in the carpet. It's still there. Yeah. It's still there. I walked in the room yeah. last night. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And yeah. Was, uh, well, because I mushed it in when I stepped ugh. on it, I mushed the shit into the fiber. Throw up I right saw now. When I stepped in her shit, I made her lick it off my foot. <laughs> I didn't. But I stepped oh. in it. I thought it was the kid's like slime. Yeah. So I was like, oh, he left the slime. And then I, <laughs> I just had a pancake <laughs> of shit on my bottom of my foot. And I was well, like, at least you fuck. didn't get the diarrhea one, No, the diarrhea man. is much worse. Much worse. Ugh, I was so fucking upset. I was so I troubled. I would like to give a shout out to all my sexy BBWs. So fine. So delicious. Look at you. Look at you. Chocolate mocha caramel complexion. <laughs> oh, my God. You just make my heart melt, baby, just by looking at your fine ass. Oh, thank Ooh. you. Is that white chocolate that I see? It doesn't matter to me, baby. As long as you're a BBW, mm, you all are delicious. Wow. And I ain't talking about buffalo barbecue wings either, baby. You know what I'm talking about. What's he talking yeah. about? <laughs> I love him. I think it's pretty cool <laughs> that we have like a kind of a poet cool guy i like him a lot yeah i will say i don't i don't he's a little more refined yeah i don't want to put him in with the cool guys oh wow i don't because i said i like him i'm attracted to his Mm -hmm. appreciation i don't think he's he doesn't make he doesn't creep me out well that's the thing he doesn't do yeah i I would um, i would contest this judgment of him being a cool guy yeah because he doesn't do like sit on my face (laughs) i want you to fart on it like all I want to do is fill you up. Like he does, he keeps it kind of Barry White. Like you yeah. fine ladies. Yeah. He he's he has yeah. some level of restraint there. You're right. I retract the guitar riff. Oh, wow, your honor. You are no longer cool, sir. You wow. actually are a nice man. Thank you. Yeah. I can't believe I won my case. You did win your case. You won your case. And uh, <laughs> how about this guy? You think this guy's cool? Hey, look at look at what the verse says there. <laughs> Let your women keep silence in the churches. Well, that just means that they're not allowed to talk. They can scream if they want to, but they're just not supposed to talk. Now, silence means silence. Well, I'm a modern, empowered woman. I'm just as good as a man. I can do anything that a man can do. I am better than a man in some ways, and, and whatever. And I will not submit myself to such chauvinistic, you know, horrible rules. Okay, then you're not saved. You're not saved. Fuck. Obedience. Cool guy club. Yeah. That's a cool guy. Yeah. What's the sword? I like his sword. Feminism collection. is a satanic thing. It's witchcraft. Oh. Well, I'm I'm a Christian feminist. I've I've actually heard that. I'm a Christian feminist. Oh uh, no, you're lost. <laughs> Turn next to Second Corinthians chapter seven. Yeah. Okay. There's no such thing as a Christian feminist. Okay. I don't oh, want, care what laws are passed. Well, today is election day, selection day. <laughs> Well, who's going to win, Biden or Trump? Who's going to be in? I don't care. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter to me. Mm-hmm. Why? Because my, my uh, rules, my orders remain the same no matter who gets in. 
well, Joe Biden's going to come in and he's going to bring in liberal, liberal communism. Okay, okay, then I'll disobey it. Yeah. <gasps> well, Donald Trump's going to come in and he's going to bring in right-wing fascism. Then I'll disobey it. Why? Because if I obey them, I'm not obeying the Bible. He makes a good point. It's a valid point. It's a very valid point. You know what I like when he goes, election, selection. Like he threw in his own little saucy yeah. wording there yeah. just to make it fun. Well, you know, he has some ability with words. Yeah. His dead eyes kind of take them yeah. the words away. <laughs> but, yeah. But um, he, you know, he, he has kind of a terrifying glare. Right. Um, right. Well, if also, I was a woman, by the way, mm -hmm. I would be terrified of this man. Yeah, yeah, he's aggressive. I thought I didn't. I don't know. I, I like his outfit. I like his beard. I think his he's cute. Great. I yeah. I wish he'd you know cool it a little because he's attractive. Well, they're going to lock down the country again. You're yeah. not going to be able to drive on the road. Sorry, not happening. I didn't obey it the first time. I'm not going to obey it this time. If I need to get out there and get food for my family, I'm going to get out and I'm going to get food for my family. Period. Period. I'm going to get out. And I get like food when people get family. fired up on camera about you know what i mean like there's no one there but he's yeah he's having the argument it's self-generated yeah oh we passed a law you go come out here and go get vaccinated there's a sign there's the military they're coming around door to door sorry i'll obey god rather than men i'm going to come to the front door with my sword in my hand and say i'm obeying god and not you mm -hmm. i'm not going to do it Life of the flesh is in the blood. I'm not going to let you put things that are going to get into my bloodstream that are poisonous. You won't kill me. You won't kill my wife. You won't kill my son. Ooh. Not happening. <laughs> this, is a, this is a good anti-vax spokesman, I think. You know? Perfect. If you want yeah. like, the guy to kind of summarize it. There you go. You know what, though? I, that guy? I like him in terms of leadership for these people. I think he's mm -hmm. a strong leader. He's, I, mean, yeah. I like him. He's charismatic. He's handsome. I think he probably has a congregation. Seems I, like it. He should. And I like his well, swords. Well, sir, I'm, I'm afraid that we've passed law. I don't care about your laws. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Well, sir, you're violating some things by saying what you're saying on YouTube right now. Fine. Then shut me down and let God destroy your home. May Ooh. the wrath of God fall upon you. Uh oh, wait a minute. I'll obey God rather than men. There you go. Well, hold on. Mm -hmm. He wants God, so God's his homie, like his backup, and yep. God will put the wrath on you? That's right. Oh, shit. That's an Old Testament. Um, yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. I found that uh, you sent in some Pena stuff. Um, I am endlessly fascinated, in love with, and enthralled by Dan Pena. But if you don't money, think money can buy happiness, you don't know where to fucking shop. You can get money and then go save the world. You can get money and save the forests in Brazil. You make money and go save global warming, which I don't believe in. You can, I mean, and save the, uh, the kids in Biafra and all that shit. But without money, you can't save a fucking thing. Don't you understand? Don't the fucking idiots on YouTube understand that? Until you make some shekels. Until you make some fucking coin. You can't help anybody. Mm -hmm. There you go. Shmoney, as Cardi B says. Shmoney. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's yeah. right. Isn't he right? He see, it seems like it. You can help that stuff out better with I money. mean, I, I think there's probably a, a, an argument to be made that you can help without money. You know? Yeah, but You it's can volunteer better. your time. You can provide services. You can, you can still help people without money. Sure, sure. But I get what he's saying. Like, you can't have the same impact, like real fundamental, you know, hey, we're going to save this forest. Well, you could, yeah, you could pay to, you know, I guess Write buy the acreage. Yeah, but yeah. I see what he's saying. But yeah, he's always just like, it's fun. He's the best. Oh. Oh, fuck. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Is it England? Yeah, I like that one. So that guy's uh, fingering his belly button. Then he smells it and he's like, his eyebrows raise where he's like, it's a pretty good smell. And then he lowers his shirt and he's playing with his belly now. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. That's a cool guy. I found him. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you find this? I don't know, gem? but I saw it. As soon as I saw it, I <laughs> sent it in. Yeah. It's pretty bold to do this on public transportation. Yeah. That's a whole other level. Oh my level. God. I'm so excited about this. I can't believe I almost, we almost wrapped the segment without doing this. Okay. Fart Simpson. Oh. So you don't know this, but I'm telling you now. On the new live show, we profile Fart Simpson. Oh my God. And we get to show you how he does it. The guy. He is a magician with this. And he literally, I, I think if you were to go, who does the best prank phone calls in the world? 
Bart Simpson. He has to be, if he's not number one, and you saw other yeah. prank callers, they'd be like, well, he's one of the top he's, three. He is a masterful prank caller. Yeah. I didn't realize I saw the piece that's going to be on the live show. Oh, my it's God. It's unbelievable. And to celebrate and further endorse that, here's a new Bart Simpson call. This is so fucking funny. He calls a <laughs> linguistics professor like a language professor yeah and just it's so good there's video to go along with this, with this one here we go hello hey professor uh yes could you hold on for for one second please sorry i'm just just finishing yeah, yeah, take your time okay sorry to one second um, exactly the actual details of the translations will be will be uh just the second half of the course but it might be on the close reading but not on the translation Okay. Bye, Katie. Sorry. Bye, Katie. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. I, sorry. Yes. Uh, no worries. So um, somebody recommended you. I have been on the search for trying to figure out a language that my brother Tom is speaking. Okay. It was an unfortunate event, but my brother and I were feeding deer in our backyard. And sure enough, one of the deer just kicked him right in the head. And after about a month of recovery, he's, you know, good now. His health is good, but he just keeps speaking this language. Yeah. We've been doing Google translation. We've called different professors with no luck. So I wanted to see if you could at least listen to my brother for a moment and maybe try and distinguish whether he's speaking Latin or what language he's speaking. We're talking a little bit then. I'm over the road. Uh, I think I hear him. Jack, tell me what's in John and Jack said. Uh, hello? Nice to meet you. Hello, Tom? About two weeks time. Yeah, see, does that sound like Latin to you? <sighs> no, it doesn't. I mean, I can't, I can't. I'm print. back in the in December. Hmm, what about Jarvis? Is that a Latin word? He's always going on about Jarvis. Jarvis? I, I'm not Jarvis. No, it's not a Latin. It's not a Roman word. I'm enjoying it, right? I'm sorry. I wish I could help you. I mean, it sounds... Just uh, then. I... Jimmy, call him my best thing. I mean, I wonder whether it's... Uh, you know, I hear intonations that remind me of some languages. It reminds me, actually, of Hindi. I've read about those people that have you know, gone into a coma and woken up and can speak like Cantonese or something. Quite an hour. You don't think this is happening to him and he's got something really prolific to tell us? Yeah, I, I, I don't believe that he could have, you know, be, be somehow miraculously speaking in a language that he, di he didn't know. Um, I mean, that's just my, my theory. I, I, um, and I don't know whether he's trying to articulate something in some language. Um, it sounds to me like it's just like just very slurred. The sounds aren't really Latinate to my ears. None of the endings are sounding like Latin. I would love to be able to tell you that it is a language, um, that it, it has meaning, but it doesn't sound to me like one. Uh, I mean, he's not retarded. He's definitely speaking a language. No? Well, I I don't think, I mean, well, I just wish you all the best. All right, again. Close on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to look more into the Hindi language. I think you're onto something with that. I'm over the road. I mean, like this, that's a good player. It's a great act of faith, and I hope you're right that it is a language. I, I, I'm sorry. I wish I could help. I really wish I could help you. Very nice, Well, I really appreciate all your help and your time, Professor. Good Good luck with everything. Say goodbye, Tom. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Good. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so good. Uh, if you, of <laughs> course, don't remember who he used to to play that part, is a guy we <sighs> featured many times on the show from this clip. What do you think makes it a great talent? All right, again. Let me see more in the glam. All the tours with more of that. Not hard to let it over. Yeah, lots of tourists around. The tours don't glam. It's great, isn't it? Great, give me a job away. 
<laughs> so it's just a drunk Irish guy. <laughs> Who I guess, is he jumping between English and Gaelic or something? Or is he just drunk English? Um, I think it's a little uh, bit of both. Yes, it yeah. seems like it, right? Yeah. I mean... I mean, but that guy was like uh, Hindi. <laughs> Hindi, I'm here. I'm not hearing any tones. Yeah, it's Latin. He's like, he's like, is that Latin? He's like, mm, not a Roman word. No. <laughs> I love. I always love how sincere the other person is on yeah. the call. Yeah, that's a like, mat. I mean, he actually got the professor <laughs> to like listen and be like, I don't know what language this is. <laughs> And eventually he's like, I hear slurring. Like, you're onto something. <laughs> you are yeah. onto something. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I love, too, that Fart left in the the beginning where there's another student there and he's, like, putting the phone down. That's such, like, a dad thing to do with yeah. the phone, you know? Yeah. Now, hold on. Now, oh, God, that was that so was, uh, funny. That was masterful. So when you see how he does it, that's the thing is when you listen to to his prank calls, you at first, you know, you, you're just taken by, like, the comedy of it. And then you're like thinking about the execution yeah, of it. Yeah, how? And you go, wait, this is not like some simple thing. And then you watch, you watch him, like how he does it. It is elaborate. I mean, he is dedicated. <laughs> and no, these are incredible to put well, together. Well, because I'm wondering, and I, don't, you, you don't tell me, yeah. but I'm, he, my theory is, is that he has a soundboard. And then, but how does he know? Like this Dude. person says, yeah. what's your name? And he's like, and he has the soundboard all the laid out. The whole process will be, uh, it's on YMH Live. Oh, three. I can't so wait. The, you you got to see it. it YMHvirtual.com. But big shout out to Fart Simpson. You should follow him on Instagram and check out all, all his Is work. that what Fart looks like? Did he use his own image? No. As the, oh, mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what he looks um, like. Even. But a lot of people want to know if you're going to answer to this or not, <laughs> to what I'm going to show now. Right, do you have an answer or not? Do you need my kings and queens above 18? This video right here goes out to a very special queen above 18. Oh, boy. Christine from Mom's house. <laughs> Christine, I still love you. I know that you didn't mean what you said. You just said it not even thinking. I say you need to let me take you out on a date and take you to dinner and show you the real king, <laughs> show you how I am and show you what I'm all about. And you might like me. Is he driving? You let me know if I can do that. I would be like, glad to do that. You have a beautiful night, my queen. You are beautiful. I'm going to make you my queen of the year. Tom, you take care of that queen over there. Okay. I love you, my queen above 18. Wow. I had no idea. Listen, how benevolent is my king, by the way? Christine from Mom's house. <laughs> I'm so I'm I am what a Christian king that he forgave me he did for forgive the you rude things I said about him I really appreciate that king he also by the way I, I at first I was like well this guy's <laughs> asking my wife out and then no <laughs> brazen, then I'm like well he, maybe he doesn't you know know and then he tags it with like hey Tom you take care of her too I'm like whoa 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 what are we sharing her well that's the thing but I, I gotta tell you something I, I give permission. No, nope, I don't know, Tom. I give permission. I don't know, Tom. If you would like to go out to on a date with the king, I I sign off, and I I know you'll let me. Stop. I know you'll have a good time. I know you'll appreciate the king's generosity. Hold on. And I think I think it could be a really nice Ho event. Hold on. And I'll yeah. Ho if you want to get on a flight tonight, and we'll <laughs> figure out the details. Fly. He's a truck driver. He can drive here. Well, that's a long drive. I think it's fair for you to go meet him at least halfway. You don't know where he is? I don't know. What's halfway from here? He lives in Ohio. Is that where he is? Yeah. Well, I'm sure he's a driver. Like next time he comes by LA, just swing by the studio. Let's get on a quick flight. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Is that I thought we were in a closed... Christine from Mom's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought we were in a closed marriage. Are we now becoming Polly and Bi? I think on a case-by-case basis i don't think I, that like we, we open discussed this i know it just changed right now in this moment i don't think that we go hey we're open but i think when certain opportunities <laughs> arise it's worth consideration and i think this is one of those and the king has convinced me that it's you know i think he's a gentleman i think he would i think he would take you to a nice dinner you're not going to get jealous well that's what i said I, I i think he will treat you with respect and i i expect him to and i and i think he will you know 
and I'm saying like at the end of the night, you want to give it like a quick little kiss or something. I'm okay with that, you know. Maybe like a back rub or something. I think that's fine. A back rub or a bath or something. Yeah. A ba- <laughs> yeah. Babe. What? Champagne ro- rose. I get it. I get it. I'll tell you something. Get the some king- NR. Get some NRE going. <laughs> And nothing would make you happier than seeing my phone lighten up, getting those text messages. And I go, oh, <laughs> my gosh, she's so excited about her new boyfriend. Yeah, Here's the thing, though. Happy. The king is so sweet. Like, I, I don't know. I think I don't know if we'd be a good match because I think he's actually a sweeter guy than I am. Do you know what I mean? Mm-mm. I'm I'm not as like em- emotional. I think he's more of a, a sweet, cuddly guy. Yeah. I, well, I, I, I don't know, Tom. Maybe you're kind of more for like a different type of guy, you know? You order the male stripper? No. <laughs> Why? No, wait. It must be the one on top, bro. It's this one. It's this one. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is... It's upstairs. It's upstairs. <laughs> 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 Is he gonna knock on everything? Oh, it's everything? right here. It's right here. I like it. It's right here. Seems like mm-hmm. it. It's Tony John. I know. Uh, it looks fine. great. Yeah. Uh, you are the male stripper. You know what? What house is it at? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, man? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here <laughs> right now. Woo! Tony John's. Um, I guess I guess that was a prank. <laughs> I oh oh right. right. That's a risky prank to knock on some dude's door and be. He's like, wearing the uh, like the Borat bathing suit, you know, from the first the v, one. Yeah. yeah. Now, he's got a nice piece on him, but I didn't know he was so thin. He's My God. really thin. Yeah. Well, I mean, we suspect he did do some drugs's. You know. What I mean? Yeah, I don't know. If you have to spell that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I did. Don't I, do it. It's bad. I assumed all our listeners were toddlers. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tony, hope you're doing well. I I think you look great in that bathing suit. Yeah, I got a DUI, baby. Woo! I would definitely let him in if he was like, "You're a male stripper." I'm like, come on in, man. Come Can I tell you? I would go on a date with Tony Johns in a heartbeat. What? I am so amused by him. He's one of my favorite cool guys. I am. I'm endlessly amused by Tony Johns. I love him. Okay. I would love. I want to hear what he has to talk about. I got a DUI, baby. (laughs) Um, All right. Let's take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back in just a moment. We'll be back to talking about farts and dicks after this quick break. I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Whoop. You guys know I'm not I'm not even playing games, man. It never comes off. 24-7, my Whoop is on, collecting all the data from everything I do. The strain, the sleep, the recovery. It is a fitness tracker that's literally like having a personal trainer on your wrist for less than a dollar a day. That is a pretty good deal. Um, I love that it you turn on that strain coach and it tells you you're you're ready to take on more today. Push yourself. I love the sleep coach because it lets me know you need this much to get by. It knows your body on a deeper level than you do. And you can get that insight by signing up. For our listeners today, Whoop is offering 15% off all memberships. Give Whoop a shot. And if it's not for you, they offer a 30-day return policy. No questions asked. Head over to Whoop, W-H-O-O-P.com. Enter Y-O-U-R-M-O-M, your mom at checkout and save 15% off. Join Whoop today and sleep better, recover faster, and train smarter. As the designated water champ of your mom's house, I love drinking water. I'm hydrated all the time, and here's why. I use Liquid IV. It is the first thing I do in the morning before I drink my coffee. I wake up, I have a nice big glass of water, I put in the Liquid IV, guava flavor it's my new favorite and it is so hydrating it's the same as drinking two to three glasses of water that's how hydrated i am and then i work out that's what i'm talking about and especially with this cold weather you don't know if you're sweating or or if you're dehydrated because you just don't feel it as much in the cold so you got to use your liquid iv and here's how it works isn't this amazing 
Just one stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water can give you as much hydration as two to three bottles of plain water. Here's how. The optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium delivers water and nutrients right into your bloodstream. What is that? It's called science. Try it. Liquid IV is available nationwide at Walmart in the beverage section, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code MOM at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code MOM at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today at liquidiv.com, promo code MOM. And we are back very happy to welcome back a very good comedian and friend of ours josh wolf thank you very much for stopping by thank you for having me i appreciate it very much hit stop on your trip yeah yeah man from my i was sleeping on my adult son's bed last adult night adult son yeah i forgot to tell you one thing though you know what i found by the side the the side of the bed that's up against the wall one sock t- tucked down no. and i was like damn it i want to touch <laughs> yeah. that I was like, that? you couldn't have just. Our sons could not be yeah. further apart in age yes. right now. We yes. have yeah. little sons who don't know to touch their dicks yet. And How old? Two and almost five. Has your two-year-old found his butthole yet? Um, that was more of the yeah, older kid, the older. L- like his butthole. The, the two-year-old, I have seen him grab his balls when I'm changing him aggressively. And I'll be like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> yeah. whoa, whoa. Like, like he's, he's like, he'll be like, check this out. Like, look how hard I can grab. I'm like, oh man, I see, I see a kink building right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never thought cock ring was gonna be on the Christmas list. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the older boy will get on all fours and put his asshole in your face naked and be like, look at my butthole. He yeah. loves it. And, and he, he goes, I wanna poop on you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool, man. Well, both of your kids seem to have really yeah. taken the kink up a notch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you, let me ask you, because this was always such a weird phenomenon to me. My kids never seemed to want me to read to them until I was taking a shit. And mm. then they will come in. I never got to poop in mm. private. No, no yeah. never. Yeah. I haven't had a shit privately in five years. And I have the whole audience. I've got the two-year-old, the four-year-old, the dog. Like they all everybody come comes Not in. me. I'm not in there for Knowing that. Knowing is a fuck about dad. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Well, you're probably like, hey, go, mom's pooping. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. do it to him. Yeah. I'd be like, go go ask dad if he needs help. It yeah. is distressing. I hate it. I love shitting in peace. Me, I know. That's what the door's for. That's yeah. why nobody, that's why they put the walls up in the stalls. Yeah, but I don't like it, Josh, because there, I need to talk to him about stuff. Like, I'll even yell through the wall, through the door, like, hey, babe, did you get that? And he'll ignore me like he can't yeah, hear. I but like to ignore. I do that too. So rude. And my wife's always like, can you not hear me? And I'm like, could you not talk to me before I went to go poop? I know. Like the the thing is, yeah. the nice, the almost five year old at least you know understands. So if you're like, get out of here, I'm trying to take it a shit. He'll be like, fine, and he'll. Leave. But the two year old will start be like, open, open, because I'll be like, oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. And then he's. Just I love like, it when they rub your back and you're like, I'm yeah. so proud of you. And you're like, that yeah. feels good. They yeah. want to see it too. He's like, I see the poo poo. Yeah, like, it's the best. Can I? Uh, when I, when Jacob was like four, my youngest son. So uh, I don't know. Do you still take showers with them? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I mean, the I actually do. I have a whole bit about it on stage right now. But it's it's pretty wild because you know the the kid, the four year old, likes showers. Yeah. And like I've seen him slip, which is terrifying. But also he'll just like mm-hmm. empty entire bottles of shampoo. And I'm yeah, like, fucking, what are you doing, man? Dick. Like he he, it's a like a playground for him, you know. My son. I remember one time, and this is what, because they're still trying to figure out, like, your body, their body, why yeah. it looks. And so we were in the shower. This is one of the last times we showered together, and he was just staring at my Yes, dick. yeah. Mm. Just. And so I um, I was, at, we got out of the shower, and I went for the towel, and he's still staring at my dick. And he went, no, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And I, he said to me, he goes, uh, he was squinting first, and he goes, why is your penis so much bigger than mine? Yeah. And I told him, I go, first of all, Look, no matter how the other person is, it's always nice to hear that. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Four-year-old, 12-year-old. Yeah. Yes. I'm just up one more on the totem pole mm-hmm. than I thought. But I realized that like, oh, this guy really has no, he thinks that's as big as it's going to get for yeah. him. Yeah. And he's wondering how he lost out in the, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. He doesn't have perspective. No. So it's going to grow. Did, did you tell him? Did, did you tell him? Like, it's going to grow like the rest of you. I mean, yeah. Yeah. fingers crossed. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 You will. I Googled for the first time ever uh, microscopic penis. Yeah. Because somebody, yeah. Micro penis. Micro so penis. sad. I had never known that was a thing. It's really oh, sad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, there's there are some that are bigger as big as a grain of rice. No. Yeah. That, but but like, do they, does it get lost in the hair? Is that what happens? Um, I don't know, man. Like, oh dear, there's one. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we've all seen Bobby Lee naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he. Yeah. I told him before. I'm like, you're the only guy I know who has two belly buttons, <laughs> 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 and one's an any. So I gotta like, say, <laughs> I always, you know, my dick. I'm always like, every, you know, most people are like, I wish I had a bigger dick, and they go. When their when their dicks showing, they go, you know, it gets bigger. I always tell people, you know, it gets smaller because I'll see my dick at a stage that I think is small, and then later I'm like, what the fuck happened to that? Like it'll go <laughs> further up inside of me. If I do like <laughs> any type of this is so ridiculous. any type of like exercise, any cardio or something, I'll yeah. take my, it'll like invert itself. And I have to, but it grows like a thousand percent. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. But I have I, to say the other day I walked in on you <laughs> and, and, and you were showering and mm. you turn around and I was like, damn, like you, you had a really good hang and Yeah, because the, there's like, and, there's days and there's moments and there, you know, like. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it could be like that day that you came in the shower or saw me, I probably, A, hadn't ejaculated in like four days or something. Wow. Um, and then I. I um I wasn't scared. I was <laughs> I was warm. There was warm water in the yeah. shower. Yeah. You know, all the like the moon and everything I wasn't aligned. Wasn't scared. Yeah. Yeah. Does the, I've not, I fear I, fear will do it. Fear makes your well, dick our yeah, everything will. Your body will go in I mean it doesn't mean that it happens to everybody, but it, it's a like men in like if you are actually in fear like your testicles and everything will come in closer. Right. That your mm -hmm. body's like um like uh, what's it called like saving mechanism where, where it's like protect yourself yeah so for me like yeah i remember one time we had these movers come in and dude had like i was like making sure that uh we were like in a bad neighborhood dude's all like tatted on the neck and stuff and i pulled her aside i go my dick's so small right now because i was like watching these guys go through our house okay <laughs> my dick's so small yeah. right now. yeah what a weird that's what you wanted to let her know not yeah. Yeah. Hey, watch like, these guys but my dick's, like, real small. Guys, my dick's real small <laughs> we so we just moved to nashville right i had the and we've all had horrible moving experiences right with the movers yeah these were i had the worst okay so first of all, they're supposed to show up at 10. Dude calls me at 9.45. And he goes, hey, we're going to be about 45 minutes late. I'm stopping great. for some breakfast. I'm oh, like, oh, great, great. Good. Thank I, you. Yeah. It's not can I stop for some breakfast or we're really hungry or anything like that. We're going to be late because we're going to stop for some breakfast. So I was like, this is not, we're not jumping off to a great start. Yeah. Right? Go through the drive through homie. McDonald's. Or get up 45 minutes earlier. This is not my, this is a yeah. you problem. It's not my problem. So we have I go, I need three people. The townhouse that we have is three floors. And I go, and you're going to need some people who don't mind going up and downstairs. So two people show up. One of the guys, after his first trip to stairs, comes down and goes, hey, man, uh, I got asthma. What, uh, can you just point me to the first floor stuff? I go, oh, are you just the first floor mover? Um, and he goes, yeah, I'm just doing first yeah. floor. I go, who's the third floor guy? <laughs> so oh, the other guy shit. is third floor guy. Now, the second guy that they were supposed to, and, and by the way, first floor guy finds my merch and he's like, hey man, can I get a t-shirt? Oh my God. <laughs> Third guy shows up on a motorcycle hour later, open wounds. <laughs> he, he's, a, he's obviously a drug addict. He's got one giant open sore. Oh. He's like he's like he's like the Hindu. He's like Shiva, god we, of meth. He's got with one eye in the we middle. We have this. We have. I think oh, yeah. we know this guy. I don't know what. Um, what was it Mitov? called? Do you remember? What it was we called? hired yeah. this guy. I, I think. Oh yeah. He, he had open that. sores all <laughs> over his body, and he was and and I caught him taking pictures in my house. You took pictures in your house? I sent them all to lunch. And I told Question. them, yeah. <laughs> <Damn. Why? laughs> what is Why? that? That's your guy. You always is that your mover? push away the nice guys and go for the douchebags. Okay. So right away, because I really enjoy, well, I'm actually weird shit. My yeah. first question is, because I really want to know how many knuckles deep you think I could go in that hole right oh there? Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> you think I could get one knuckle in there? I, I mean, I think you can definitely get a knuckle in there. I yeah. think I think I could go one knuckle on that dude. I want to know like how Ugh. how you're not in like how you're like I'm a I'm, I'm gonna leave the house today. I'm, well, I'm not gonna get a gauze pad <laughs> and tape this up or just go or, to a doctor dress like, it up and put some sun rays around something it. On can, it? I, can i tell you something <laughs> if i had a hole in my body like that i would be so concerned it would be all consuming yeah until i figured that out well, gabriel iglesias is really gone <laughs> he let himself go this is uh, this is I'm like how do you get that hole though i mean Drugs. first of all i don't know and i think that the guy this video he's like hey what ha hey ladies why are you uh, like this to, why are you push away the nice guys <laughs> like nice and guys. you like the douchebags? And I feel like he should start being like, by the way, I know there's a hole in my face. Like, <laughs> I know. By the way, then get into your. Address it. It should be the lead. It's, it's it, a lead story. If you are. Don't turn this off. Yeah. I know you see the hole in my face. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> don't turn it's, this it's off. It's like if you're a 400 pound comic and you get on stage for the first time and don't say anything about being, being 400 pounds. Yeah. You got to lead with. I have a giant hole. Hole. You in can my see face. my ladies. I know you can see my brain. Yeah. But isn't that sexy? You yeah. can see how smart it is. Rough to look at, man. But look at you. There's. I love. Here's what I love. I yeah. love that you assume drugs. I'm gonna just. I mean, what kind of coke? That, that's the old Joe Diaz joke. What are they cutting this coke with butter? Yeah. <laughs> because he's uh, this dude is. <laughs> I know. Clearly not well, doing it right. I, I asked Dr. Drew. I'm like, if he's on meth, I mean, aren't you supposed to be skinny? He's like, no. There's a lot of you can still. Right? Didn't he say that? I don't remember now. I don't think this has Something anything to do like with that. drugs. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, I think no, is, it does. Drew think it's a drug. That this guy's on drugs? <laughs> yeah. I think this is a skin condition. Like, yeah. I think this guy oh. has like dermatological, you know. I think he's. Can you be fat on meth, you <laughs> <Yeah>. Google? <laughs> is that the Google? <laughs> That's what just Google. Can you be fat on meth? <laughs> now, but look, I found stuff. You did. I, yeah. I, I do want to tell you, and I, and I, um, Ryan had told me how much you enjoy horrible videos. Yeah. I have a video that I'm not sure that you could show but uh, i have a video that i would love to have you watch and yes. get your reaction whatever it is yes all right Th this is because i enjoy mm. gross shit like really so here's the thing yeah i'm sure you're on a email chain or text chain with a bunch of people who this is the grossest the grossest yes yeah yeah i have one friend who finds things that and he lives in montana mm -hmm. and i think the internet's different there <laughs> because he, he finds things and I'm like, where are you finding this? But he finds like it's he's the first guy years ago who who sent me the the guy getting the blowjob from the fish. I'm sure you've seen that video. But from the fish, no. Oh, you haven't seen the guy what are you talking about? in the ocean with a wild fish getting a blowjob? No. no. You haven't seen that video? I haven't How seen that? You can Google How have we missed this? guy getting blowjob from fish. That now, one will come up. I've seen okay. guy getting butt fucked by horse and dying. Yeah. That yeah, was yeah. a neat one. This one is great because he's got a friend filming him. Fish blowjob videos. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on one of our favorite websites. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shit. hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I got to make sure that I have this. Uh. But this... Okay, I can't believe there's more than one. Yes, I can. What, who am I kidding? If there's one, there's more than one, right? Hold on. Um, okay. Um, but I sent this video that I'm about to send you to uh, the guys at... at um, let me just tell you that this, is this video it? this isn't it no that is oh that's the ad definitely not it there have been um people have thrown up oh is this it no but that's a good one that's this so horrible that they're torturing that fish well this one the one that i saw is the guy's in the ocean oh my gosh and he is getting the blowjob from the fish and when he pulls the fish away and lets it go the fish comes right back to the dick oh he thinks it's a tube or something it's something to eat. It, but hold on let me just make it. oh god I, <laughs> <laughs> I i hold on let me just make sure he that. thinks he's eating coral <laughs> like he's like when's I, when am i gonna get sustenance from this tube of coral it is uh i'll maybe that's i'll find terrible, it afterwards and josh. Send it to you. i don't know where i can no find that's it. okay i think we're good yeah this one is i get uh, it i got it terrible Oh, did, are you watching it right now? He's no, watching look, other I'm, stuff. I'm looking for other stuff. Girls shitting you. on waffles and... <laughs> oh, girls... <laughs> <laughs> 
shitting on waffles. I don't know what you're is that a, about. Is that a Pornhub category? It is now. Like, I'm looking right now. I'm like, oh, by the way, shit. you know what's crazy? You say that, but I bet you if you Google girl shitting on yeah, waffles. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, my favorite, uh, to this day, still my favorite, and the one that makes me laugh every single time, even though I know what's coming and I know... Cake farts to me is still seriously cake farts is cool. undisputed heavyweight champ really? of ridiculous videos. Now that's been sent to us so many times. You know what? There's one part. Hold on. There's one part yeah. that makes me laugh. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the close up of her butthole mm -hmm. that has frosting on it, and then when she farts, some of the frosting just flies off. That <laughs> <laughs> really gets you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's so. Where's hard. the Where's the docking video? I wanted to show him. Oh, that. the, that's interesting. Oh, that's you know a I mean? good one. <laughs> What's that called? Uh, I think if you search for prolapse. <laughs> now, see, Josh, I like a little bit of mental illness in my videos. Oh, okay. Do you have like, any of those? Yeah, the one that I really has tickled me for years has been homeless guy gets raped by gay ghost. And it's yeah. just this guy in an alleyway what? and he's got his legs in the air and he's in an alley alone and he thinks he's getting fucked by a I've never, ghost. It's like a real performance. And I've never like, seen that. Yeah, and he's yeah, going, yeah, he's going, yeah. fuck me in my ass, man. Yeah. I mean, fuck me. It feels good when you're fucking me. And it's <laughs> so funny. Let me ask you he's something. He's in ecstasy. It's are so you, great. Are you, um, and I'm just going to come straight out and sure, ask. Sure, go are ahead. You, are you anti-ghost? <laughs> I mean, are you just saying Ghostist? ghosts? Are you saying ghosts don't exist? Have you Go seen race? this before? <gasps> yes, that's what I was gonna send you. You've seen this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was what I was. This gonna is the send thing. You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I. It, you know what gets me? Have you seen the one where the guy uh, puts the prolapse in his mouth? Yeah. That yeah. one is. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? The first time I saw that. I was like, that is, because it, it looks like uh, uh, something in, from Star Wars. Yeah. Like that you would see in a Star Wars bar. It's pretty wild. Yeah. Do we have those? Are you, gonna, are you here? Are you joining are, us? Is it done? This is not a. I don't like it. Can I ask you? Ay, ay, ay. Do I have that in my body? You yeah. Yeah. You and just we, need a we, guy to pull it out here's of the, you, thing, the right we man. We could make this video. <laughs> <you and I>. <laughs> <laughs> but which one am I? Am I the clean ass or the hairy one? I think you're the clean you're one. Clean. <laughs> yeah. Can you turn it off, please? Okay, okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. It's so bad. <laughs> So <laughs> I like that one. Do you, do you get what's going on there? There's no. a guy like he's trying to do a video. I guess maybe like a TikTok, and he's on top of a refrigerator, <laughs> and I, I, he's obviously trying to set something up, and he falls with everything in the refrigerator. That's so oh. funny. So, so he's like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I gotta tell you, that's a good one. I have no sympathy, empathy, any of that for these. No, right? No, that you earned. You a yeah. hundred yeah. percent agree with that. Yeah. There's things that like you go, okay, I feel bad. Like, yeah. you know, this like, is not this. You feel bad, you know? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're <all> right. <laughs> He's okay. He's fine. <laughs> that by the way, when it, that just shows you when it's your time, it's your time. That oh, had to be the most precise. Yes. Half a second either oh, way. I know. Sucks. And now his shoulder is fucked. Uh, you think it's just his shoulder? That's what I think. Okay, that's <laughs> nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> it probably makes you feel better laughing. Exactly. Yeah, it's just it's it's a shoulder injury. <laughs> what do you want to do? I like how we just assign the injury. If we assign the injuries that make us feel good. There's just moment. You're right. It's like millisecond. Like check this out. You haven't even seen this one. But yet. can I ask? Let me ask yeah. it. Hold on. Yeah. Would you rather have a death like this where you're just walking down the street in your shorts and your t-shirt and then you get hit by some crazy iron bar <laughs> or you're on a motorcycle and you see the demise coming as you're about to get into the audience this. I mean, in the accident? This. Yeah. yeah. I agree, because yeah. you're just like, oh my god, what am I gonna have for lunch? Conk, and then or a die. long illness suffering. Fuck that. No. No. Fuck that. Do you know what is great? And I say great because death isn't great. But as far as death is concerned, yeah. What's great about this is there's no fear involved. Right. You don't exactly have to feel anything. There you is no fear. You didn't you, know what happened. Right. I'm not scared of dying. I'm not. I'm. There's no. Oh, I died alone. There's none of that. That's stuff. a great point. This yeah. is just. I'm alive. Things are great. And I'm, now I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Now not so great, yeah. but but there's none of that ang anxiety, and I would even say, 
I don't even know, like as a family member, if I would rather see somebody go through it. No. Or this is tough because you don't get to say your goodbyes and all that. That's but. the one thing I would not, I'd be sad about is not saying goodbye to yeah. my kids and my husband. But, but it, then again, they, I don't want them to watch me dying and, but and how having about to this? deal with all that shit. Do you think this is a good way to go out? Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I don't like it already. Is this, is this hungry? It might be. It's definitely Europe. It's but, Europe, yeah. My visa. No, 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 no. Oh. But then look, he's okay. He's like, Jesus, man. A little wobbly. A little wobbly. <laughs> oh, you're going the wrong way, bro. <laughs> that guy got out. Look, or is that lady? Is it a lady or a man? Wow. And then he's like, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. But Wait, like, let me see that again. That was pretty amazing. They both yeah. swerved. Like the, the person wow. swerved into, into him. him. Yeah. Well, that the driver is completely at fault there, obviously. Wow. Yes. Right? Like, in fact, this was captured. The, it's a dashboard. Coming up on an intersection. Okay. It's the perfect storm. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Jesus Christ. I'm always... How did Surprise you just get up? Just wobbly, how? little wobbly. Button my jacket. I'm fine. Now, you know, that off. guy could be dead an hour later. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I'm always surprised by how good. they they go up in the air and not they don't just go straight back and get run over. Wait, but hold on. So she gets out of her car, <laughs> the driver. Yeah looks over and she's like oh he's fine great and gets back <laughs> into the car like it's fine nothing happened nothing happened yeah nothing happened. i do like that i mean no the the the, the watching the, the the legs and everything go over that's the funny part absolutely you know just seeing like the flip no i didn't that. laugh once in that, that oh clip. i think the up oh, in the air the yeah. feet going straight up that's always a funny thing like, always funny yeah what do you think is more funny so did you grew up oh in florida tom a part, yeah, part of the time, yeah. So, did you ever grow up in an area where people were slipping on ice? Yes, yeah, so I, I lived in the Midwest. Ooh, that to me, gracious. the slipping on the ice might be because when you slip slipping on ice, slipping on ice is hilarious. Yes, and yeah. deadly. Yes, but funny before death. Yes, nope. The best part is when you slip. It's that when you hit the apex and you almost freeze for a second. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. I've eaten shit on oh. ice. So many so times. Horrible. Seriously. Running. Yeah. Oh, right. my God. It, nothing hurts more. And the, the time that you actually do it is when you're like, you're distracted. You're like, oh, all right, we got to go. And you just walk out the door like you normally would. And you don't realize that there's an ice patch either on those stairs, on the sidewalk. And you will, with force and momentum. Yeah. I mean, just absolutely eat shit. It's funny to watch. Real but funny. like, I know a dude who died. He slipped Ooh, on the ice, cool. hit his head, and he died. Uh, freshman year of college yeah mm. what yeah. he was a freshman he was a freshman in college not anymore. Yeah. no he's not he's dead now mm -hmm. <laughs> <But> he's <laughs> not anymore <laughs> remember when you were a freshman in college and before alive you died? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not anymore Whew. Or Suck. just forever a freshman yeah. in college. Forever. <laughs> That's a nice way to look That's at it. That's true. Yeah. Well, especially now, if you had brain damage. And I mean, I mean, but people broke elbow, you know, arms, oh. elbows, dislocate oh. shoulders. My yeah, because you like you naturally when you slip and fall, you put it down. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Well, don't let's not talk about this. Come All right, want to see something clip. funny? Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, should we lighten up the mood? Oh yeah. Oh, hold on, that was a bummer. We ordered these. I need some positive. Yeah positive Go affirmation ahead. i'm trying just wait a do second. you know what i ordered that just came to my house what, a sequined nicholas cage you pillowcase stronger healthier and wiser you will discover talent that you didn't know you had you will accomplish the god-given dream he's placed in your heart thank you wow that was joel osteen inspiration cube yeah inspiration <laughs> cube mm -hmm. just out of curiosity what's he getting for that forty dollars yeah. Really? Yeah. $40. <sighs> yep. It's a lot more nice expensive cut. than an app. Yeah. Which would have been easier to just put on my phone. Yeah, that is quite a racket. Well, we spare yeah. no expense here at your mom's house for our props, but. No, I, I like that. How many Look. different inspirational. Oh, my God. There's um, a it's bunch in there. Oh, 50 different sermons. And then it says Joel on here, too. Did you notice yeah. that, Tom? And just, they, it's just Joel. totally random. Like, you never know what it'll have in it. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a, a fucking American, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, just whatever you get, you know? Um, wait, what did you just order, you said? A sequined Nicolas Cage pillowcase. Oh, oh I didn't hear that. That's from Amazon? Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Amazon's the best. It, 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 it's, and Etsy has all these seek where you wipe it and it's Nicolas Cage and you wipe <gasps> it back and it's not. That's wow. Awesome. Yeah. Now, I, I think they missed the boat on wiping it Nicolas Cage, wiping it back John Travolta way, for face off. That would be great. I mean, yeah. they really That's missed the boat. That's a money move right there. Yep. 100%. Now, I feel like the I, just the concept of that, I'm like, that should be $500. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's upsetting that I already know that it wasn't. Yes. I do like the fact that like that a, you guys are both super interested in it because I love that. Mm -hmm. But that like we, it could be $10 or $500. But I'm so mad. I would pay. Yeah. Either one. I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 But like if you can see a face by put, you know, putting your, wiping your hand across it, I feel like you got to be able to, that should be a, there should be a cost associated with that. Yeah. That's not some bullshit, man. <laughs> no, I mean, the technology for that alone seems 500. But I got, mm-hmm. I got one you're going to like here. This one, you're not going to get upset at. Mm-hmm. No one's going to be upset in the booth at this one. You're going to like this one. All right. Okay. So this customer got mad because I didn't want to cash his check. And he shit it and fucking <laughs> put that shit on my fucking car. Oh, I'm going to no. beat his ass when I fucking see him. He don't know I got his social, his address, and all of that. I just okay. got off of work. I don't even want to take the shirt off my windshield. But Khalil Salisbury Shepherd, born January 15, 1996. I'm going to beat your ass, like I said earlier. What make it so bad is I'm driving down the road. Everybody keeps staring at my fucking car. I need to get to a car wash ASAP. Everybody keeps staring at this. Look at this. Damn. This man pressure cleaning this shit and it's not coming off. Oh. <laughs> it's, not coming out. it's not coming out. Oh my god! A customer <laughs> shit on her windshield. No, and shitted, 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 on it. shitted on it. <laughs> and left his pants too. Like yeah. fuck that bitch. That's that's the craziest part. And to me. by the way, uh, that those look like florida streets so <laughs> yeah, it's like hot. it's the sun Sunbaked. cooked the shit into her windshield and <laughs> the shit looked like an orangey yeah it's yeah. not a healthy diet that was not, not a healthy a it was not like diet. a log no, that no, was no. like a and so my, my man needs his probiotics a hundred percent maybe some l glutamine yeah. to yeah. tighten that Something. up but yeah. I, my question was exactly yeah. did, did he shit in his pants and then wipe it on the car? Mm-hmm. Like, what's it's the. such a gnarly move. Yes, he did. Here's my theory. Okay, guys, go with oh. me. Brown lock. He shit in his pants, took the pants off, and then mushed it oh. on the windshield. And then, but, but then what? He walks around Donald Duck in it the rest of the day because I'm sure he doesn't have an extra pair of pants in his car. Yeah. But not only that, that's like, crazy. I think we can all. Well, I was just about to apply logic to somebody who shit in his pants and wiped it on somebody's car. And I can't really do that. But my thing is that like the most uncomfortable part to me is not walking around naked, but wiping, walking around without having you. You know, you need to wipe after that shit. Well, she said yeah, she actually says point. in the video he left his shirt here. So maybe what oh. he did was he stood on the, the, oh. the uh, hood or something, <laughs> squatted over her windshield, no shit, in and then was wiping daylight. his ass with his shirt. Oh, that would make so, so much that, more yeah. sense. So his ass um, didn't have, you know, and then you can leave with the, no shirt. That is so smart. Babe, and then just babe, left that babe. shitty shirt. Babe, you're yeah. so smart. Dun dun. <laughs> yeah. That was way. so good. Yeah. By the way. You're so smart. I, I mean, there's got to be a part two to this it's video. Where, what happened to Khalil? We are all <laughs> waiting. <laughs> Khalil I would like her to know. We'd, we'd all love the update. I she lo- does know his address. I'm yeah. not putting it past this woman to go right to his house. What would be your move? So say... So so say, is it shit for a shit? Like eye for an eye? Mm. Do you Do you up the shit? Or what's your move... If you know who it is and you know, like... I shouldn't say this, yeah, but I think it's violence. I think that that's <laughs> what you do when somebody does that to you. Oh, I know. You don't go, I'm going to shit on you. You go, I'm going to take a fucking yeah. baseball bat <laughs> to your rib coach. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but somebody who's willing to stand on your hood and shit oh, on your Oh, this guy's windshield. fucking nuts. Yeah. But here's the thing. You, I, I think about people like that. They only speak one language, yeah. and that is, I'm going to fuck you I'm up. I'm kill yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a really good point. I, yeah. I have to tell you, mm. like, just, I don't think mm. I'd go back to this dude. I think it's... It's, it's probably... It's, I mean, yeah, I'd let it, I'd I let it lie. I don't think she should go to his no, house. No, no, well, no, no, Josh, no, 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 no. That's what we were talking about earlier before you got here today, is like, do you retaliate against crazy, or do you just kind of let it go? Just Now, my husband likes to confront it, obviously, I think it depends. It, I think it depends. Like, 
and it's changed as I've gotten older yeah. with more to lose. When I was younger with nothing to lose, I am 100% confronting you. Yeah. Because yeah. why not? Right. Yeah. But right now, if I think there's a chance, that I'm like, okay, because I grew up with three older brothers. So retaliation is a thing. And you may, I, I don't mind playing the long game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Long that's, game's good. That's the way. Well, I mean, on. that's the whole way is you don't do shit right now. No, 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 no. You, you can't. You stay, you lay low for like yes. six months, bro. Keep it right so here. That, six months. That is the way to do it. Yes. I mean, if I were like, I just put in my head that this is Florida and South Florida. 100%. That, 100%. And, yeah, it, yeah. and it may or may not be. But if it is, um, for sure, you can wait a few months, keep all that info and find <laughs> people that for $500 will set his house on fire. <laughs> you know? Like <laughs> there are people that you can be like, follow this guy yeah. and stab him in the leg. Like and, they'll do it. And I I think just judging I don't by the know. I don't you don't want to get it traced back to you. Well, fucking hire a Here's what guy. I would do. Here's what I would do. You have his social security. You have everything you need to really ruin this person's life. I'm saying there are memberships to Nambla that you can sign him up for. There's like sneakier, crazier shit you could do to get That's back. true. You could really fuck his world up that way. I mean, I, that's I just illegal have to too. say, though, I'm not sure this dude, Khalil, is in a position where he cares if you're signing him up for. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, this yeah, is a yeah, move yeah. with yeah, somebody. He's too crazy. I, I think you play the long game and you just you you plan something out and I'll you tell you what Khalil would really hate I'd throw shit on his he fucking lawn couldn't use his right hand anymore oh, my oh God. yeah, so, yeah to wipe mean? his ass yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm telling you I really think the move on these things is you you bef you go to the park you befriend a homeless guy you go there like a couple times a week you bring him food and you you make him trust you yeah and then you go here's what I need you to do for me and he's like you know he's like yeah I live at the park Whatever. <laughs> but what if, what if he's like, ID. oh, Khalil? <laughs> Khalil? Oh, yeah. He's right there. Yeah. 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 I know Khalil. Yeah. But here's well, what you need a homeless guy that's like schizophrenic and already no. talking to himself. So that way he, he can't get pinned on you because he could be like, who told you to go break that guy's head open? And it, no, Tom Segura, the comedian. I, but I yeah. think it's got to be do, someone who's crazy. So that way it's too cra cra Too crazy will we'll not be able to execute the plan. And it's got to be kind of but together. A little I think crazy. you just tell him the wrong name. He doesn't have to say I'm Tom Segura. Yeah, but he's a recognized no, I'd be like, celebrity. I'm Josh now. Wolf. Yeah. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to have Nadav do your bidding. Nadav would have to yeah, go the Yeah, the more the more you can like separate from the the person you're asking to do the crime, of course, the better. Sure. You know? I don't think though. I think if I think if Tom goes down and walks around I don't think he's gonna stick out amongst the homeless people as much as Nadav Nadav walks down there they're gonna be like narc look at this yeah, dude I with me like they'll be nerd. like he looks kind of homeless yeah he could yeah. maybe fit it yeah. yeah he maybe he came from here he's not here now but, but hold yeah. on is the revenge is it going to be tit for tat like are we gonna put caca on his windows are we gonna throw a bag of dog shit at him as he's walking down the street so that it's on his face and he smells it I, that's what i would want to do is ma put the caca on his face and like make him really like smell your, it i like how you go caca with some accent i can't tungarian oh is it i like that i like the caca yeah. accent yeah I like that. Same. Caca. <laughs> yeah. i'm telling you i'm telling you what you I do like is the accent. you put this guy in the hospital not like you don't end his life you put him in the hospital Tom, you're gonna get in so much trouble for I that lean, i lean towards cacao yeah also. make cacao if you do it you just you, tit for so he doesn't so he'll fucking be like oh bitch that's a six months ago yeah. that's the bitch i fucking shit on her windshield it, it's shit for shat is what yeah. it is shit for shat. <laughs> it's shit for shat. totally shit i'm for talking shat. both kneecaps <laughs> Both hands, short collarbone. But then if we're going to do that. This guy's just in a body cast. Why don't we just, you're not going to damage his but asshole then we could put, I mean, that's we, what I would do. Put, if that's a good point. And then can we put shit in his body cast? <laughs> so that, that so it, it smells? It. So yeah. he's like, it smells. And they're like, yeah, these smell sometimes because you sweat. <laughs> he's like, no, it really fucking smells. Because really I really stepped smell. in dog shit and it yeah. was so unpleasant barefoot the other day. Like if we could get him to do that. Let me ask you, have you ever oh. stepped, okay. Have you ever stepped in human poop? No, thank no. God. It's the worst i felt like cutting oh. off my foot one of your kids <laughs> no, out in the street oh <gasps> uh, it's one of my life like uh, ah. were you wearing closed toed shoes or oh, like sandals or something? well i have to tell you flip i don't flops. own flip-flops or sandals okay. i'm 100 percent anti that thank yeah, god yeah. Uh, especially out in public like yeah we're public fucking crazy insane. if you're at your house or at the beach on flights oh my like, god 
I saw there was a dude across the aisle from me <laughs> clipping his fucking toenails. Oh, yeah. So crazy, nasty as hell. I've seen people clip him at the gate. Where you're get like your life, sitting homie. at the gate. What? Clipping get their your nails. fucking life. You know what bro? the guy told me? I go, hey man, you can't do that. You said that? Yeah, <sighs> dude. What did they say? He goes, I bought the seat. I go, yeah, I bought this seat too. I go, you you can't be clipping your toenails. And he goes, they're all. This was like ridiculous. He goes, well, they're all falling by my feet. We've all clipped. They they. Yeah. You don't know where the fuck your toenails are going. They shoot all How over. How old the place. was this guy? Mid thirties. Wow. That's, yeah, was that's he mentally not excusable? Ill? No. And I was like, "Listen, man, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm gonna." Bing. Bing. Yeah, yeah, I would have bung. And I said, "Hey, here's what I would." I was. Did Bing. they tell And then I, when she comes over, I would just point. She, did? she said, "So you can't do that." Of course. You can't do that. It's just not okay. I, I don't think you should have your socks off. No. Yet, but you definitely should not be clipping your. Fucking toenails. Nah, no, bro. I would rather see somebody get a hand job. You know when like there's yes. a couple and someone's getting a hand job. I'm yeah. like, it's loving. Who cares? Yeah. Like they're cleaning it up. It's in that blanket. I'm not Who using cares? that blanket. Yeah. That's their seat. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't. It's just like okay. I had a guy at one of my shows, who uh, he was finger banging his girl <gasps> in, at hilarities. Okay, guys, not subtle, not subtle like this. Yeah. You know at hilarities. Um, the tables are facing you, and so that if it's a round four top, the two people up front, th- they're facing you in front of the table. Right. So this they're dude, in, they're in front of the table as yes. opposed to behind the table where there'd be some type of like Shut barrier. Shut yes. the yeah. fuck up. And, and so in, in hilarities front of the table, hilarities that there's a front row and that second row is a couple feet back from it, so you can see them very clearly, well. Yeah. Clearly, when I tell you he was not hiding it, he it wasn't. She was sitting six inches away from him. It, no joke, it looked like he was a DJ scratching a record. That's the arm motion he was making. Eyeballing me the whole time. Ew. I was like, oh, this is some prison shit. Like, this dude is Ew. staring me down. Yeah. And the staff was like, after the show, they were like, why didn't you throw him out? He did get thrown out, but not for a finger in his girlfriend. because <laughs> <laughs> That's not illegal. No, and honestly, <laughs> did you job. say something? Like, you, you were like, hey, man. So he was fingering the girl. And I was like, I wonder, I didn't say anything because honestly, it just gave me something different to look at. Yeah, you it's kind of nice. I yeah, know. I mean, you know yeah. what I mean? I was like, all right. Yeah. And I saw, it was, for me, it was like a sign of respect. Oh, she's, yeah. everybody's excited to be here. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So he was fingering her, looking at me. <laughs> and I'm looking around and I'm like, how is nobody else noticing? So I, Which is a compliment to you, by the way. Uh, yeah, so, so it must have been a riveting show. We were having a great time, yeah. apparently. Yeah. yeah. So I, I had to kick them out because he ended up talking at the table, and I can't have that. Yeah. Because now you're bothering. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you're bothering other people. Like yeah. fingering is a Finger quiet. all you want. Yeah. 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 I throw them out, and I asked the people who were sitting behind him. Oh, I go. I thought you guys were with him, and she goes, "No." Nah. The woman it was a couple. The woman was like, "No, I can't believe I had to sit at this table through that whole thing." And the guys, I go, you didn't see a guy? And he goes, no, I saw it. I can't believe I didn't have to pay extra for this ticket. Ah! And I was like, yeah. He, yeah. Was, like, he was like, it was, I, I was watching two shows. That's I didn't amazing. know which one to watch. Yeah. It turns out an entire half of the room saw them. Oh, then oh they were seeing God. it. They were saw them. The, one half of the room. We named them the Fingertons. Yeah. <gasps> we were like Mr. and Mrs. Fingerton. It turned out, okay, this is even better. It's insane. They went to the back of the room after separately and called their separate spouses no so the reason he was so mad is because they were on the dl to well you can't be on the dl together out in public fingering your mistress in the front row yeah dipshit do you know what i mean yeah i've seen hands and crotches by the way in at shows before yeah but never a full like i've i've accused i've like hey what are you fingering her you know and then they're like but like the hand is like looks like it's up the dress but not the motion or same thing with a with a woman's hand like on a man's thigh like i'm like what are you jacking him off right now would and that bother like, you oh, at a show? Fuck no. Mm. But it's just like something to see and say. You know, like yeah. it's like an observation, right? Like, now, the only time I've really, I, I don't like when people make noise. I agree. Like there was one woman that stood up and made a dolphin noise in the very front row during my act in Indianapolis. And I was like, just throw you, get out of here. And she wouldn't leave. And I had to sit down on the stool and wait for the guard to let her, like kick her out. But yeah, just don't weird. make noise. And then she's completely hammered. Yeah. Don't vomit in my showroom. Had that happen? So have I. I've had yeah. people fall asleep drunk. On, that's yep. fine, but even that's fine. Yeah, just be quiet about just it. Don't, don't throw be, anything be, and be quiet. Yeah, I know. I had a show where the like, oh, there's all this noise, right? Like talking, and I'm like, what's going on? And then like after the show, 
I was like, so what, what was all that? And they were like, yeah, they just wouldn't stop talking. I go, that's what I asked you to yeah. watch out for. Like all the talking. And they're like, it was a group. So, and I was like, so, so then get the, the fucking group out. Group out. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, we're going to, we'll work on that. And I'm like, <laughs> this is the whole thing. There's not a lot to work on. Yeah. My, my rule is this. And I tell people, right. I, I give one warning at the show and people who come to my shows know this. And they're always like, you seem like such a, you're very serious when you say this. I go, I am. And the rule is if you're talking to me, that's one thing. Cause now you're part of the show and I can make that. Yes, funny. that's true. If you're talking to each other. And you're ruining somebody else's show who paid That's for the ticket. Exactly. Yeah. Zero yeah. tolerance. Yeah. You're hearing my one warning. Yeah. I'm not going to go back to your table and say I'm warning you. Do you say this at the shows? Yeah. I, I say you're hearing my one warning. If you're talking to each other, I'm going to throw you out. Yeah. Period. Not like, you know, after a joke. I, I, I get that. Like that. But if you're carrying on conversations or like with if each the other, build the check comes yeah, i get that I get sometimes it. people talk everybody wants to know who had the bud light i yeah. get it yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why we got to talk out loud about it but yeah i get it how about yeah. just be a fucking adult grab some plastic from your wall yeah. and figure sorry. it out yeah. later i know like, <laughs> jesus christ my man. favorite is who had the iced tea Did you oh have my you god have I know. i'll pay for the iced tea everybody yeah, yeah. i'm in the middle of my closer oh. don't you remember just being like i got it yeah you, uh, you owe me 40 yeah, bucks talk about it after the show dipshit yeah. i will tell you though the live shows i've been doing the crowds are so excited now hold on so tennessee are you guys like open you're allowed to do shows and stuff or um, how's it working there so i did a show there at zany's and i think they were at 120 people so it's not nice, a lot nice but that's still so, that's so great i'm so jealous it, 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 in denver i mean a, like a, two days before i got there they cut it from 50 to like 25 percent capacity i think we're about to have like a major shutdown again. i think yes. we are because it's and it's all i mean it's that you know people aren't taking precautions but it's also that we're getting into winter and it's people yep. are it's just gonna get I think bad we're fucked. oh this is great this episode is also brought to you by butcher box my absolute favorite these guys have the best quality meats you can find it can be a real pain trying to track down 100 percent grass-fed finished beef free range organic chicken etc when you do find it a lot of times it's super expensive but our sponsor butcher box believes everyone deserves some of that high quality humanely sourced meat when you sign up today you get their steak sampler with six grass-fed grass-finished steaks because the best steak night is a free steak night right it's absolutely delicious no added antibiotics or hormones ever each box has 9 to 11 pounds of meat, enough for 24 individual meals. This stuff is top notch. Absolutely amazing. I love eating it. For a limited time, new members get six free grass-fed, grass-finished steaks when they go to butcherbox.com mom. That's two New York strips and four top sirloins added to your first box for free. Act quickly. This offer is only good through Cyber Monday. That's six grass-fed, grass-finished steaks for free in your first box. Just go to butcherbox.com slash mom. That's butcherbox.com slash mom. I, what makes me shocked about. That's cool. Did, Sorry. Does, do your burps have a taste? Sometimes, um, they have yeah. a smell. Do they have a smell? Oh my oh, God. Yeah. I know it, they always smell like garbage or exactly yeah. what he ate. His pee smells terrible this I'm, morning. It was like, dude, hey, you even drink hey, water? Hey, hey. When you, we're talking about burps. And what are you doing? one time we peed together. I'm what do you mean? I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Like you were sitting down no, and he was peeing. No, I'm sorry. I meant we showered together. No. This is like uh, two, yeah. three, no, three years ago. <laughs> yeah. And he, he he does this hobo stuff where he like blows his nose in the shower with me, <laughs> snot rockets. And he washes his asshole and he spreads his butt cheeks and the water goes down. It's so vile. It's so vile. And then at one point he pee, he likes to pee on me while making eye contact. <laughs> He will. That's some Khalil shit right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> like he'll smile at me and uh, baby, and then I'll feel the warmth on my leg and he'll pee on me. And then the one time he did this in that shower piss, it smelled like somebody dumped just a pot of coffee in the shower. It, yeah. I was like, dude, did you even drink water? Like it was such a, it, it smelled just like freshly brewed coffee. I love coffee. coffee. <laughs> what are you talking? I love coffee. <laughs> Can I ask yeah. in in the when he pees on you in the shower? Yeah, is it like or is it front like you're facing each other? Yeah, and he pretends like he's not, so he it's right, his I trickery. Look like you know, we're making eye contact, and then we're 
I'm like, yeah, you think later. And then as I'm talking to you. It's a trick. I'll start peeing. I like that. Yeah, Yeah, it's a neat trick. I'm not a fan. Like when my my wife's like, uh, I like to shower with you. I'm like, I don't like that. No, I'm men don't. You guys get screwed because we're cold and I yeah, need I'm like, I don't, I don't oh like. Yeah, I'm like, I don't like. You're like, it's 120 degree water. Do you want to like tone this down a little bit? Yeah, but it's either scalding or freezing. Don't, you see yeah. the eye roll of contempt? That's an indicator of divorce when she's, people eye roll contempt. She's been saying this for only 10 years. It's a study they did on, <laughs> what is on it? It's a study you, they did on if couples. If you roll your eyes. Eye rolling like, is a sign of contempt. That that's contempt. And she's like, and that is a sign for divorce. And then she'll just turn <laughs> I've been rolling my eyes at yeah. my wife for years. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. We'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think we <laughs> negated the study. Saying. Okay. Yeah. You don't know yet. Okay. Rolling, uh, wait, uh, it's funny to me that content. you think the rolling the eyes leads to divorce, but not him peeing on you. No, that's intimacy. Yeah. That's a sign yeah. of love. <laughs> okay. If Tom stopped peeing on yeah. me, let me tell you this, Josh. But, but, and, and I have one more question, by the sure, way. Sure, go ahead. Do, do you have a problem with how he washes his asshole? Or th- yeah, it's the, it's the, it was the theatrics of like, I'm spreading my cheeks and the water goes into it. Like, I know you're not doing that alone. Right. You're doing this for my benefit. Because when you are alone... Is that how you shower? I probably I'd probably turn it up a little bit for you. Yeah, it's the yeah. performative aspect to it. Can shower. I add something to it that I have a friend with a wife he and his wife she was like she used to shower with him and this is how he got her to stop. He had a an asshole bar of soap that he would shove into his asshole and yeah. sit there and look at her and then just drop it out. Whoa. That's fine. And he was like, this is how I wash my asshole. Do you have a problem with that? And, and she was like, like, I'm not showering me. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good move. Yeah, so she, yeah. He, and he would yeah. eye contact the whole time. He would be like, whoop. Yeah. Now I do shove a bar of soap kind of like not quite inside my asshole, but definitely on and around my asshole. And then I'll use that same bar of soap all over my body. Me too. You know? It doesn't bother me. Yeah. But do you go asshole first? I mean, I don't even think about it. I, I don't, don't know. Think about it I don't know where it is. And I, we use our hands. I we don't use washcloths. Yeah, Are you a washclother? You know what's funny? I I'm a washcloth for my underarms, but not my asshole. Oh, now did what you are grow you up doing? in poverty? <laughs> I did. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, washcloths. For yeah, poor people. Yeah. yeah. It, wait, did you not? Did you guys grow up with money? No, but we we did yeah. not use washcloths. Um, <laughs> 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 no, because like every everybody um, who has like almost pretty much brought up washcloths grew up at least um, I don't know underprivileged that I've that I talked to. But it's so much more yeah. work to wash. And it them. is effective. Here's the thing: it is effective. Yeah. I make a joke about it, but I have found that it's like, like it. this bizarre socioeconomic. You know, indicator. We definitely had washcloths. We definitely had the potato chips that just said chips. Yeah. yeah. Like we had all that. You know, we didn't have a car for a little, most of my childhood. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 yeah we yeah. were. What city did you live in? I grew up in Amherst, Mass. Oh, okay. Which is like West Western Mass. Um, we just didn't have. You know, it's crazy. I think part of it because social media and you know everything's in your face all the time. But I don't know that I knew we didn't have money. No, I mean I knew we didn't have money, but I, you didn't I was never I wasn't looking at other know. people's lives. You, all you of don't the time. know for a while. Like when I was um, a little kid, and up until you know I was eight or nine, we didn't have money. Like my dad had a corporate job, but wasn't making good money, and I didn't know that we didn't have money until later on when he was earning more. And I was yeah. like, oh, we were like, oh, you guys were like getting by back then. I didn't realize it. You don't know when you're, because when you're six, seven, eight, nine years old, it's about having, you know, playing with your siblings and yeah. your friends. And like, you don't care what it says on the jacket. You're just like, it's cold. Do I have a jacket? You're not like, right. what brand is this jacket? You know, that, that stuff usually comes in your teens, I think, where you're like, what's the label? Oh, you know? sixth grade. And is it, are yeah, they sixth guest grade jeans? is a big one. Are they, grade. but like third shoes? and fourth guest grade? Guest jeans, I love it. Third and fourth grade, you don't Never care. had guest jeans, come on. Well, I mean, you know, when my, so I, when I was single raising the three kids, you know, I lived in a, in one room in Hollywood. I made $1,200 a month. Oh my God. So you think about how much you can get for $1,200 a month, Fuck. right? And so we- What was your rent? I, I was living in one room and my brother had the other room and he paid the lion's share of that. Wow. Um, mm. And I, and I'll tell you, so my oldest old, and they didn't know they didn't have money either because you're right. When you're that age, it's about having fun. And so I knew I couldn't take them to like a six flags or anything. 
So their favorite thing to do was I would put them in the trunk of my car and drive them around empty parking lots. Aww. And it was their roller coaster. So That's it was fun. It was like it was like because it was dark and I would go over speed bumps and shit. That's and, fun though. But it was that's the kind of that's shit what you make do with what you got. When yeah. you have no money. Like, we have no money. We have washcloths, guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. What do you what do you want to do with these? <laughs> my when my oldest son was seven, he said to me, he goes, uh, because we lived in one room. So he was like, I would like to have my own room. I go, well, this is the only room we have. He goes, I, I understand that. I'm wondering if I can sleep in the closet. And I was like, what? Oh, and he was like, can I clear out your shoes and sleep in the closet? And I'll just sleep in here. It'll be like my room. And I was like, how old is he when he says this? Probably seven. Wow. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. And he goes, okay. And I was like, but just, you have to promise me when you go to school, don't, don't tell your teachers yeah. you're sleeping in the closet because they're going to come get you. Like, yeah. they're, they're not going to be psyched about that story. And then my daughter was like, I want my own room too. And I was like, I don't have. And she said, can I sleep under the bed? I'm like, yep. So I had one in the closet. I had one in the bed. Wow. And my youngest son, I was like, where are you going, dude? Like, I, I would love this. But bed. everybody was happy to have their yeah. space. Yeah. Everybody has their matter. own space. Yeah. I tell people how I grew like I, how I grew up. My mom and I just had like a small, shitty apartment. We lived in an apartment complex, right? Like a two bedroom apartment. And I told my friends this and they're like, that is so depressing. I'm like, it wasn't though, because you don't, you don't even realize what you don't have. Yeah. And you know, you, the, what, what's your, your pleasures back then? Like a cookie was the best thing that could happen to you. And or, pre this, you didn't know how other people were living. No. no. You didn't know you were really missing out right. on anything. Now no. you're very well aware. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. you see like, is that 15 year old? Does he make 25 million a year? Cause he unpacks things no. on YouTube. So depressing. Yes, he does. That is the, that little Asian kid who makes unboxing or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think his name is Ryan. This yeah. little, he makes something crazy, like 25 million a year. And you're like, what is your skill, bro? He's like, I get these toys, man. Yeah. And, and what I do you do? Them. I open them. And then what do you do? I tell you if I like them or not. I'm like, yeah. that's, and people love to watch me do that. So fuck you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know who's the happiest? His parents were like, we don't have to have a job. Oh. Ever. They're done. Amen. Again. Yeah. Ever again. If you say one of your kids wanted to get into the business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I had that rule with my daughter who desperately wanted to. And I was like, you can get into it when you're 18. But I can't have you. I can't no, have you. I can't have you hear the word no about do you know what I mean? Can you? That's the thing that I. My, my biggest first is, rule would be, do not use, uh, my last name because I don't want to be associated with how much you suck at this. Yeah, okay? exactly. Oh my <laughs> god! And let me tell you how you get ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I got a reputation to uphold. Yeah. I can't have you fucking that up. Fuck it up. People will hear your last name. <laughs> they go, I saw Sugar, and then they saw your shit act. Get the fuck out of here. Could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, you can't uh, get in stand up. No what if you way. suck? No, no way. What if you suck? You know how traumatized you have to be to be a stand up comic? Oh it's God. like the crazy. You have to really. Yeah. You know, no, they're not going to do it. I don't, they're they're way too it. privileged. They're way more privileged way than more. I was. So. At best, they could be comedy. I, would, I wouldn't mind them being comedy writers. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. way less abusive. Yeah. Like being in a writer's room and pitching bits and stuff. That'd be yeah. fun. You know what I'm going to be like? You know what's cool, buddy? Science. Okay. <laughs> Go fucking. <laughs> no. Yeah, go, math is cool. Yeah. Math, I, I wish we could make math cool. By mm -hmm. the way, I never thought you could make chess cool until I started watching Queen's Gambit. Uh, I just referenced that before you got here. It's awesome. Have you, by the way, do you, do you know Best that show. Best show. On TV. I Have know, you seen I her speak it. Spanish? No. Who? It's perfect. Her. She does? She was raised in Argentina. She's for a few great. Years. She speaks like this show is fantastic. Perfect fluent it's, Spanish. It's, have you watched any of it? No, it's I just the, saw I just got it. into it when he was in Alabama, so oh, he hasn't. Oh my god! Yeah. Best what a, show what on a great TV. show. She speaks fluent Spanish. Like and perfect. The perfect. thing is, you don't have to understand chess. It's really not about no. chess. It's about this journey that this girl goes on through the game of chess, her, how it's changed her life. And I was on the chess team for a year. No, no you, you were, were not. not. Yes, I was. I was. Is there a ranking? Well, what here's the, the thing. What the fuck are you talking about? I was on the chess team. So my dad, you know, my dad's a chess fanatic, right? Yes, I do. And he plays chess and has played my entire life. Taught me to play chess when I was a kid. I went to a middle school that had a chess team. I'm so dumb that I, I basically was like, well, my dad's really good at chess. I'm probably like, I didn't train. Makes sense. Yeah. I just knew how to play. And the school that I was at had a reputation 
for being like really good at chess. So when you would say our school to somebody else that played chess, they'd be like, oh, you must be like really good. And so I went to, a, I don't know, a few matches. I just got my fucking ass kicked on every single time I played. And people would be like, oh, you're like the, the guy that sucks at the good school. Like, yeah. You're the shittiest guy on your team. And you're the and 12th like, man off the bench of the Bulls like, oh, team. Oh, I, I think yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would love, like if we put, I would love to see how I would do at chess right now. I haven't played oh since God. I was yeah. 10, Really 12. good players are unbelievable, man. They are just, you know, they're, they have so many reps. It's like an open micer versus a 20-year veteran or something. You know, they have so many reps that it's like it's automatic how... how Dude, I can't even play checkers. Like, I, but you have to be thinking so too many moves yeah. in advance. I don't have that. My dad, right now, he's 72. He plays... At one time, he might have like 25, 30 games going and will like online and is just switching between and, and playing these different games. Is it's, he still sharper than you mentally? Um, no, no, not like, not in conversation and like quickness, but when it comes to like playing that game, he'll also, he'll play all those games. Then he'll have a board in the room that he's playing a game on with somebody over a phone call. <laughs> and then he has a separate board that he might be like studying moves on. Like it's just, he absolutely is obsessed with chess. That and has is. been my, like my entire life. Mm. And, and was he ever like disappointed because you didn't take up chess? I don't think so. He didn't, he didn't, I mean like we, you know, he was teaching me when I was a kid. He had a brother who was much, much like genius level smart, like very, very, you know, went to Princeton at like 16 and, and was a, a very, very successful doctor. He died, but he's obviously like, he was the smartest guy in the family, and my dad would beat him at chess. So I mm -hmm. think that was like a big boost for I gotta his own tell you, morale. 16 years old, there's some things like when, when people go, that sounds awesome. Like 16 years old in college sounds terrible. Yeah. Those dudes who have two dicks, I know some people are like, that'd be great. Sounds no, ter yeah, no. terrible. Two dicks sounds terrible. You just want one good dick. One? Yeah. One dick that he, I don't, and by the way, guys were like, I would love a, I don't want a huge dick. I yeah. want it to fit in my pants. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want it to be cumbersome. Like all of those things that people think it sounds awesome. Yeah. See, I think it's good to be just average or slightly above average in like one or two things. Yep. And then even in the looks department, you don't want to be too good looking. I agree. Just good looking you know enough. You know what you also don't want to be? You don't want to be the number one comedian of in the world. anything. You just want to be like, you know, top in the I'm in there. In the top percentage. Yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> number there. number one is the person Too that much. everybody dissects every line and every <sighs> word and they're like, you know, checks it like and you're like, that that's way too many eyeballs. Because they're they're dissecting things that that person's been doing for twenty years. Yeah. But like now they've all of a sudden just started doing it now. Yeah. And and it's it's completely un unfair. It'd be better to be like the fifteenth Best comedian yeah, yeah, in the yeah, world. Yeah. I've, I've always said the best job in the world is the drummer for Pearl Jam. Right. Yeah. Because nobody knows who, if he walked in here right now, I'd be like, hey man, can I get a water? Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know who that dude is, but he gets to play with Pearl Jam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. Stadiums, travel the world, but he could go to Ralph's and get dinner That's the yeah. and nobody knows who he is. Yeah. <laughs> I think right best. now I have to say my level of quote fame is the best because it literally it is like the postmates guy is like christina your mom's house i'll see you up in may or coming up in may yeah. like you know four strokes yeah. and i'll be like that's what's yeah. up or it's like it's always like the fedex guy yeah. it's like the guy stocking cans of beer at their you know what it is? the it's liquor stores uh, whatever the fuck it's like it's, normal people it's free french toast one time <laughs> I went to a diner and they brought out, yeah. like, what's this? They go, big fan. Here's some free French toast. Yeah, like, that's, that's a fucking perfect. great level of fame. Yes. Free French toast. Free French toast fame it's is the perfect, perfect level. level. Yeah. So you tell me I'm walking into IHOP and I'm walking out just the tip. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that feels me. That's a good move. And you know what else? Things like that. I know this sounds stupid, but free French toast makes you feel good. You're like, it does. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Not that you couldn't pay for the French of toast, course. but you're like, that's sweet. Yeah, it's, it's a good feeling. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I um <laughs> I had a guy this is I guess I was in Tennessee yesterday. I yeah. had a guy Because you live there now. Yeah, yeah that's so right. crazy. You live there. Crazy. And you love it. Should we live there too? I I'm a different person. <sighs> I'm just moving there. I had no idea 
I'll, I'll give you guys an idea of how kind of wrapped up hot chicken. Oh, that hot chicken. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm. I got to tell you, mm. I tried extra hot and I did something I've never done before. I, <laughs> <laughs> I poured a bowl of almond milk and I stuck my asshole on it. It was so hot. I just needed this thing. You know how milk cools it down? Yeah. We didn't have yeah. any milk. I just had almond milk. So I poured a bowl of almond milk. On your bee hole? You because it? it was so piping hot that Coming I put out. a little after I wiped. How is that wiped. fun for anyone? No. You need a bidet. I've gone to media. A washlet. I wanted to see what extra hot was like. It it's was too hot. Wasn't it hot on the way down though too in the mouth? Yes. Yeah. It's too hot. Do you know like, do you know, you too know hot. those farts that, um, mm-hmm. that, 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 that uh-huh. it, it almost, it, yeah. And it yeah. almost yeah. feels like you're farting out like a hot <sighs> razor blade. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. ah, they yeah. make the, ah, like yeah. a, ah. it was those. But dude, I was talking about this oh, the wow. other day. I've done, you know, hot ones. The, the, the first we fee show, Sean Evans hosts yeah. with chicken wings. I've done a couple, I've done it a few times. And one thing I was like thinking about the other day that when you're doing the show, they give you, um, ex- you know, increasing levels of heat in the hot sauce on the yeah. wings. And he asked you questions and it's a brilliant concept and it's an ap- he's done such a good job with that show. But after like I was talking to somebody about it, somebody told me they saw me on Hot Ones and I go and they asked me because they, they weren't familiar with the show. And I go, you know, what you're making me think about right now is that on the show, the effect of the hot sauce is great to watch on camera someone's sweating and they start like fighting i go but it's crazy to me that some people that hot sauce is wasn't made for that show the hot sauce exists like the the top yeah. level ones and i go who enjoys that who enjoys oh, right. the the level you know the level 10 stuff where you're like <sighs> like you can't breathe but like someone thinks that that's dressing up their food i mean <laughs> it's so bad it kills every sensation in your mouth yeah and it's not like this is a little kick. It's like someone lit it, it, fluid it in your mouth. It doesn't taste like anything. Right. It's just at that point. It's just point, pain. You're just flame. in pain. Yeah. I always thought also with that show, by the way, is that water mine? Yeah. I, help yourself, please. I think oh. I I like to have so many because I drink so so much. Tom yes. doesn't really Rock believe water. in that. Um, I, uh, I, I, I've always thought a great after show would be them bringing a camera to your house the next day. Yeah. yeah. And just maybe talk to you through the door. Be like, what's yeah. going on in there? You're right. And you're like, let me tell you. <laughs> it's rough. But I'll say so this. I, it's, I, I feel like on having done that show, it's worse. The eating is worse, even worse than the way out. Really? Really? Yeah. really? yeah the last three are how, Wait, how so, many times have you done the show? Well, I've done actual hot ones twice. And I've done like they have a, a companion show that also had involved eating spicy stuff so i've done I like i think i would do that show i think I, have you oh ever, it's a blast is it's it so, it's it's fun to do the show he's the best interviewer in the whole game i think like he's such a great interviewer but and and it's fun like to be a part of that whole you know yeah. that that show what i'm saying is like those last three are so uncomfortable and so hot that i'm like aside from the like sort of the the point part where you're watching somebody freak out yeah um, like this is also a product that's for sale. Who enjoys Why? this? Yeah. Like it seems like a practical joke product. Right, exactly. That's my point. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It's like there are so many. Then, jeez. Do you do you like those last three? Once you hit a certain level of burn. Yeah. Does it burn more? Um, kind of. There's, so there's this one I think that's always like seven or eight called the bomb, and I to, I've told them I was like I feel like it's it's seven or eight, but I feel like it's worse than number ten because it's the first one that goes from like. It feels like a four to like a ten, really? and you're like, "Oh my god!" What's you can't that even sensation think. like? Like, what is it? Uh, it's see, I didn't realize how brilliant the concept was because what what ends up happening is that you're so taken out of your, like, um, you're so taken out of being in the moment of of conversation that you're you become extremely vulnerable. It's like it's like a you were given a drug or something, and so. That's what, what ends up happening is I ask you a question in that moment, your, the answer is going to be like either like in super honest because you're not, you're not putting your filters on because you're like, you're like, I can't, I can't. And it's like, what, you know, tell me who, who's the most annoying person in your life. And you're like, my fucking son, he's an asshole. Like, you're <laughs> yeah. not, you're not thinking in terms of like, oh, I'll process this thought. I'll, I'll come up with something witty. It's, it's automatic because you're dealing with being so uncomfortable 
You know, it's like a truth serum. It's like a truth serum, and that's that's the brilliance of that of doing that to people. What, mm. what is one thing you said on there that you were like, I can't believe I actually said that. Um, something that I asked them to cut out. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So he got that uh, where yes. you were just like, I can't believe I just yes. said that out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That well, I, I only asked know. them. I only asked them one one time. Everything else, I've, I've, uh, I've kept in there. I mean, yeah, it it gets you're so uncomfortable. And here's the thing: nothing can really put out that fire. You know, there's. When you're out and you have something kind of spicy at a restaurant, you know, you water, milk or whatever, when you hit that that real fire level in this thing, you're I mean, you're sweating, you can't put out that heat, you know? You're just done. you actually want it just to be over. So mm. you Did keep, anything work bread or milk or anything like that? Not really. No. Not real. I mean, it sounds like fun. You know, I did this. Um, <laughs> I want to do that show. I do. I think. I actually think I do want to do it. No. It's so fun. It's so fun. I mean, I'm. I'm telling you, that moment's also passing. You know, it doesn't stay hot in your mouth for 45 it, minutes. It was right. in your bee hole. It doesn't. It's it doesn't not, hurt as bad on no, the way out. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Tacos I, con toto hurt like a motherfucker on the way out. That next day, is it worse than your tacos con toto shit? I. By the way, your chicken shit. Yeah. Let's rank your let's rank your hot dumps. I'm <laughs> if you're trying to remember which remember. shit was was I worth remember that like the chicken or the tacos. I remember that like immediately after I was like, oh my stomach feels fucked up. Yeah, you know, yeah. From, from eating, but not from hot eating sauce. tacos. No, the tacos were like they feel good, but they're not good on the way out. Yeah, that was see that was actually much more food. Tacos yeah. from Toto was like a lot of food. We were eating like <laughs> whole meals. like multiple tacos. <laughs> The, the chicken, there's 10 wings. Yeah. And you don't have to like clean it. You know, some people do, but they're small. They're, they're, they're small wings. So you can take a bite with the hot sauce and you're, and like I said, the first six don't, don't, aren't like really fucking you up. Okay, it's so like the last I need three. Claire, I need an answer. So uh, Yana, was it the chicken or the tacos? Well, the, ta the taco dumps were much more uh, sub substantive in volume. They were, there was sure. just so much. Because there was more. There's so much more, more food. Yeah. 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 That's the thing is that even the, the spiciest chicken bite, you have one bite of it. Right. Okay. So it doesn't it doesn't wreck you on the so way. So he should force you to eat the entire chicken wing. I think that should be the well, next I, level. Well, I I did that for the fans. <laughs> I I know they respect it, so I would clean my wings. But some people some people would do mini bites and then throw out the rest. I would probably do a mini bite like a pussy. I think I'd go all the way. You gotta Ew, do it. You gotta do it. I'm also like curious. you're a little guy. You're skinny. I mean, like I your shape. But I, I my, bet you can eat. I can I eat. One of those and people. My dumps are yes. So I did something to myself. I didn't. I accidentally. I haven't had beef because I just don't sleep well. Like mm. I'm at that age where I get meat sweats. Where I'm really? Like, yeah, man. Where I'm like, you know, I'm. I get old man meat sweats. So I'm like, I'm not doing red meat anymore. Mm -hmm. But the other night, I ordered some wonton soup, mm. and mm -hmm. I drank the broth, and I was like, oh no. I think that's beef broth because it tasted so good yeah mm. let me tell you what can because i haven't had beef in probably gotta go three years damn really what came out of me was like so much that uh, solid or no? no no do you do you know when you know when you when it's not solid but it still comes out of the water because it's that much yeah oh, like wow. you made like a pot so much of a pile yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that was like it was to the point where my wife, you know, when your wife is like, "You okay?" Yeah, yeah. one of those knocks every yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> his browns are ungodly. <laughs> are they bad? Are they always bad? No matter yes, what, they Not sound every bad time. all Not every the time. time. Are you a? Do you poop in public if you have to? Yeah, <sighs> yeah. And uh, by the way, like a year and a half ago. I started to I'd be take like, a piss, I'm going to shit on me. a plane right now. <laughs> no. I used to like be like, you know, yeah, no can. matter what. Yeah, take a piss. Now, now I'll board and I'll be like, oh, I'm going to shit uh, in about 15 minutes. No. Yeah, it's, I mean, it sucks. I don't, I don't want to do it, but I've accepted that like. You I'm don't not, shit in the airport? Sometimes, but I don't, I can't like, sometimes the timing just isn't right, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I shit on a flight uh, three or four days ago. Yeah. The, and it was a small regional flight. Oh. So I walked out and everyone's like, no you just that. took a dump, huh? And yeah. I was like, yeah. Have you ever been on a plane where the captain had to say, whoever's in the bathroom, you got to come out now. We're landing. I was on a plane where 
a guy was in the bathroom as we were on the approach. <sighs> and they were like, sir, sir, sir. And I, and I'm, and I had a seat near the bathroom. Uh-huh. Um, and they were knocking, knocking. And he opened the door. And it was an older Asian man. And they were like, you need to sit down. And he, I put together that this man doesn't speak English. So they're like, sit down. And he starts going back in the bathroom. And they're like, no, not in there. You need to sit in your seat. And so they're, they're grabbing him. He's old. He was in his like 70s, you know. And they're like, and, he, and they go, you need to sit and put on your seatbelt. And he like would come out. And then he would back into the bathroom oh, again. No. And then they... They finally get him out and they're like, sit down. And he just stands in the aisle and they're like shouting. And I'm like, don't you understand that he doesn't understand you? Yeah. Like, that doesn't matter if you yell at him. Yeah. And they yeah. finally like someone like shoved him into a seat and they're like, put your seatbelt on. And he was just like, what? Go back in the bath. Like he thought they meant go to the bathroom again. Yeah. He thought he was doing a good job. They came and knocked on the door. On. You're doing a good job in there. He could. It was. It was. Yeah. And I've, I've also had um, a toilet on a smaller plane, a toilet malfunction. Oh no! And they were like, "Uh, there's like 40 minutes left on this flight, and the toilet is not working." <laughs> so, yeah. They were, I used the to worst. tour with um, Larry the Cable Guy, mm-hmm. and uh, by the way, a fantastic guy. Everybody says one of the most generous, likable dudes. Dan, Dan Whitney, yeah, yes. one of the nicest guys. But uh, you know, and and we used to fly private, and so I know what makes me fart. So anytime before a flight, I would always the night before load up on like dried apricots. Dried oh apricots to make it hard for him. Oh, because he hey, because be, I would just torture him. Yeah. At, at, there was one point where I was far. He got he was starting to get and he doesn't get mad, and he doesn't he he doesn't swear. He'd be like, God dang it, Josh! One time the pilots Ugh. bust open the door. And they were wearing their gas masks. For your farts? Uh, God. I would have fired yeah, you so No, fast. he was like, man, you I'd have got you. to stop farting on the plane. I'm like, I just can't. Oh You're my a horrible God. person. It's yeah. so much That's fun. fun. That's fun. Come though. on. There's, You're the worst. There is little apricot farts are so pungent. Rotten. Dried apricot farts. I know. Are yeah. the, I know. You love dried They're apricots. The, I love them and I don't eat them for that reason. My wife won't let me buy them. If yeah. I bring them in the house, forget it. She's straight like straight in the trash. And my yeah, favorite yeah. are the Trader Joe's, Trader's Joe, and they're very sour. And I, I love the Trader's Joe kind. I love not that you regular. put an accent on Trader Joe's, but not Toto. Toto, Ta- oh, tacos that's con ja- Toto. Tacos con Toto. Well, yeah. that's because I say it like an Angelina. <laughs> yeah. Tacos con Toto. Tra- Trader Joe. The Trader but Joe. That's how my parents say Trader's Joe. That's why they fucked up the. Um, are we doing talks? Oh, no, I was gonna say um, um, I was you, hoping for talks. You, uh, but you, you told us before we, you are loving Nashville. Oh my God, I, I feel like a different person. This is what I was gonna tell you. I yes. put, I hit almost peak COVID clarity. You said I, I hit peak manic. I, 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 if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I hit peak manic right around the last time I was supposed to be on this show. Mm this town started to drive me into comparing my life and my career to everybody around me mm-hmm. and thinking that oh, I'm not, why aren't I in this group? How come they're not letting me in this group? How come I'm not, how come they're not this almost like, like why me? Why not me? Instead of looking and going, I'm, this is actually pretty good. I don't need to be around comparing myself to other people. And, but this town put me on the wheel every day. Mm. Yeah. And um, there was a point where I was like, I gotta get, I gotta get myself in check and remember what's important. And but I can't do that here in this town. I just, I just couldn't do it. I could not, as much as I tried, I could not. This, I could not stop from getting up in the morning and going, what don't I have? Right. And that is so unhealthy. Mm-hmm. And um, so, like I was telling you guys, I my voice is different on stage now. Mm. It's not, there's not that tension. I'm not, I don't need to project. I have a microphone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I and don't you're know. more, you're more at peace. Grounded. Yeah. Centered. Um, happy. I don't care as much. I'll go days without hopping on and posting on social media. And I, like, I enjoy my friends more now. Mm-hmm. 
because I'm not constantly thinking about something else, what I haven't done that day, what I didn't get, what I need to do tomorrow. I'm not constantly talking about the business. It's just living. Like, yeah. mm. do you know when you look at your friends from high school and you're like, they just look like they're living their life. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Just like having fun. Right. And that's more what we're doing. And that's what kind of life, I mean, should be in a way, right? Because I think so. You look people that like are not in entertainment that you know, like like high school friends, and yeah. you're like, oh yeah, that's that's life. Like, this is what my kid did today. This is what you know. We're having fun. We went to this park, and you're like, oh, it's not always like who sold a show, and yeah, all of that stuff, which is not important, right? A- and which the rest of the country, by the way, now I kind of know why they look at the people in our business sometimes the way they do because they're like get over yourself yeah. oh yeah right. do you know what i mean yes. like get the fuck oh we're actually out here living our real lives yes and so it, it, it paints a much clearer picture man i like myself so much more yeah that's great i, I like it's hard to uh, sometimes uh, and i was thinking about this in the plane ride over and i didn't want to be the dude honestly crying by myself in my seat but i was like i had so much anxiety coming back here Mm. because i'm like oh you've you should have left you knew you should have left five years ago right you knew you should have left five years ago and the peace and and i but first of all covid saved my marriage quarantine saved my marriage and neither one of us knew this but you know i was traveling 42 weeks a year 44 weeks a year jesus whoa and um we had just started to think that was normal. And when I came, when I came back over COVID, those first couple of weeks was like a vacation. And we like, we're together. And then after that, we were like, oh, is this you? Oh, is this you? Like we had learned to live our lives so separately that about a month in, I was like, oh, we were apart. We weren't married. We were mm-hmm. living apart. And she was like, yeah. And I had started to think about life without you because life was without you Mm, and to be able to reconnect and realize that's not how people are supposed to live if you're in a you know what i mean sure it's not how it's supposed to go down so it the quarantine did a lot for me personally to like i have apologized to a lot of people that they didn't know they were like you don't need to apologize for that i'm like yes i do because it wasn't like I was going to do it afterwards, but I needed to apologize to you guys. Why? Because of the what I feel like the, like the last time I was supposed to be on this show, I had started again, gotten a little manic and I'd started to take everything personally Mm. and we're all living our lives. You're good people. We're not making decisions personally. We're making, this is just what we do. Do you know what I mean? And nothing should be taken. And and so I had started to, make myself a victim, all this shit, just because I was like, why not me? Why not me? Why not me? And when you're like that and when you're desperate, nothing comes to you. Right. Nobody wants to be around that. Nobody wants to sit in front of you and talk with that energy or, and so, um, even if my career shits the bed from here on out, I'm so happy I left because I'm happy to who I am now. I don't, I was not happy before. That's great. That's huge. It's everything. That's great. I, 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 yeah, I think honestly, like I was, um, we did a show in Nashville and, um, a guy there who's seen me a bunch of times every time I come through, he was like, you're so different this time. I go, what do you mean? He was like, you're so calm on stage. You're so just present. Like, yeah, you're not pacing. You're not, you're just standing or sitting or. What is it? I go, I just feel like myself. That's so That's good. That's everything. Man. That's yeah. so good. And I, I think you have a good point because this business, it isn't just about being a performer. There is a business side to all of this. And it's so easy to get wrapped up in like, yeah, why don't I have that? And so-and-so and da 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 And all that do da 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 takes the joy out of why you got into this. You know, just to make fart jokes and like, yes. and watch a person take a shit on a windshield and, and like that, that goofy person is the one who became a comic Yeah, and not fun. the business and fun. Yeah. Not the stupid shit that makes it unfun. It's a very good move you made, man. Yeah. I'm so happy I, for you. Good. I, I appreciate that. And, and I made a rule from here on out. I just want to do things that are 
fun that I enjoy. Yes. That I enjoy doing. Yeah. I'll tell you, like us doing these YMH live shows, and I'm so glad for the the pandy to quote Santino. Um, mm. uh, is because now we does wouldn't... that taste like anything? It tastes like tuna. I had a tuna salad before. Yeah. Does hers? Do her burps smell? Yeah. yeah. Are you as? Do you feel like you react to her burps the same way she reacts to yours? Or are you more accepting? Thought provoking. Are you more accepting? Is she more accepting of her of your burps than you are of hers? I have more performative burps. Yeah. And, and honestly, just more powerful. I'd say stronger. Yeah. I would give him the burp category. You seem to draw yours out a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, you know, I he like. Does. I celebrate them. I really do. <laughs> well, t- he, and most body functions. He goes like sneezes. this. He goes. Oh, he loves to sneeze. Yeah. But you go. You Me go, too. Yeah. I, love I play it up. I do I go, not ah. understand. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Love yeah. And I'm like, but that felt good. Yeah. Tom's burps are twofold he goes mm, where you suck it in and then and then like that yeah mm-hmm. i uh, wish it's my it's the one body function yeah i don't think i do well with burps i'm a great sneezer i i think as far as farts i'm in the one percent oh wow. wow i i think i'm in the one percent yeah. i can make them but i can also I have good asshole control so I can draw them out. Yeah. Mm. You know, make it sound like a car this that's guy, trying to start. Oh my God, That's we got exciting. this. Uh, e- reference. It's exciting. <laughs> this guy. It is. I've never heard of anybody. He goes <laughs> by Gas Master, this Fart guy. Con- Listen, this what? Is, this, look on this screen Fart right here. control. This guy. Well, that's what I expect him to look like. Now, mine would have start, stopped like three seconds before, but yeah. that's, that's... Three seconds. That's wow. like my... That's me too. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're on that... Are you, you a ever, vegetarian? I am like 90% vegan. That's why, maybe. So I, I'll eat meat like once every other day. Yeah. Have you ever seen my mom fart? No. Oh. Let's see. If, <laughs> that's my mom. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, can I tell you what's the best about that? She was so happy with herself. Yeah. She was so <laughs> for a moment. Yeah. She because here's the thing. Uh, she yeah. stayed still. She yeah. sat yeah. in the moment. Yeah. My yeah. mom is not a standstill. She's a walk fart walker. Yeah. yeah. That's a different breed. Different le- different yeah. types of farters out there, different. man. She's de- she's definitely, yeah. She I that was I was so she was so happy with herself and you ruined it. Yeah. Yeah. You really I ruined mean, it, dude. The magic is that I had my phone in my hand oh. and press record at that at that very moment. I'll tell you that that fart was long enough where even if you didn't, you could have gone into your pocket. I know. Gotten to tail end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Wow, that yeah. was great. I um, wish she had had her glasses on for the fart. We though. have an update from one of our like kind of big finds on this show. Yeah. But in order to put it in context, I need you to see who he is first okay. before we play the update. So before we go, I wanted to show you. Hi. This is. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for a white lady <laughs> that's tattooed and dominant and be willing to put me in a dress and beat the shit out of me. Call me. I'm the sissy of Fremont Street. <laughs> in Fremont. Sissy Gemini. Again, you stupid white bitch. That's what I'm looking for is a stupid tattooed white bitch that'll put me in a dress and beat the shit out of me. Call me. He's the best. Yeah. 22. I like him so much. White slut. (laughs) So. I just wanted him to pan down. Oh, man. (laughs) Come on, give me the hole. He's put out a number of videos. Like, we also... um, uh, is he the guy that cups the for you and do a dance for you? Da 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 dance for you. Do 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 Boom 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 da do He's got a toddler body. He can sing, he can dance, he's like I mean this dude is multi talented. I mean he's the best sissy of Fremont. So here is the update. You ready for an update video? From Sissy of Fremont? Here he is. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, if there's any white bitch out there 
you got to be white because I don't like any other color because I'm white. I'm a Gemini sissy with a little itty bitty two incher. Yeah, just let me know where you are. I won't let you know where I am, but if you give me your number, reply with your number and uh, I might get back to you and we can meet and, uh, you know, then we can come over to my uh, dumpy pad. It's in the middle of the Fremont shithole. <laughs> and you can give me a nice hand job on my itty bitty two incher. And I'll probably buy you a beer and a <laughs> pack of smokes. <laughs> so you know, nice brunette girl. <laughs> hey, give me a holler. You know what the kind of uh, take from this? Everybody just wants the same thing, you know? Yeah, yeah everybody's just looking for love. I love. know. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice trade-off, you stupid bitch. Yeah, you stupid white bitch. Give me a handy, I'll get you a pack of smokes and a beer. <laughs> and maybe he'll make that frog noise. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a time in college I may have taken up on that. Yeah? For a free beer and, and a pack free of smokes. smokes. I yeah. loved smoking. Especially if all day. you have to do is tug on a two-incher. Big deal. I mean, I mean it doesn't even count. He's a nice guy. I and like this him. dude doesn't seem like he's he's lasting for too long. It doesn't no. seem like a 30-minute hand job at no. all, right? This guy's so thrilled to have dude, human affection awesome. of any kind. Isn't your reach far enough over here on your mom's house <laughs> where you can find somebody platform. to give well, a hand job? We basically <laughs> just gave him a free commercial. I, you know, so. yeah. I mean, isn't there anybody listening who's willing to go in and do the work and report back? I got to say, though, normally men, what we try to do when we want sexual favors is we try to make it as appealing as possible. Yeah. I mean, I would give him notes like maybe don't say you can come to my shithole apartment. You know, like most ladies are like, how's the apartment? Is it nice? And you're like, no, no, it fucking sucks. Yeah, but like Tom, <laughs> whoever's giving him a hand job. I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't think that she's like, but what does your apartment look like? Like, I don't think. But that but hold on, is this part of a, a fetish that we're not? Oh, What's sorry, the fetish? Sorry, Joel's gonna speak right now. Go ahead, Joel. You can't become who you were created to be, always depending on somebody else. You don't need that crutch. Start encouraging yourself. God, it's like he all through the day. Is Joel watching this? I am strong this? in the Lord. Something good <laughs> is going to happen to me. God being for me is more than the world being against me. Oh, Some of the wow. things that's God what he should say when he's jerking off. In the <laughs> <laughs> I am for the Lord. Oh. <laughs> to fall into place. That's not going to continue. Thanks, Joel. If God kept doing everything for us, we wouldn't see the abundance all around. All around. You may wonder why certain things seem more difficult. More difficult. Raising your children is not as easy. It's not as easy. At work, it's okay. more I have a question though. Why does he have to whisper? One more. It's not going to get hard till I'm ready to come. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have a question about the sissy of Fremont. Yeah. The first video, he's looking for someone to beat him up. Yeah. The second video, he's looking for a hand job, but not. He didn't mention getting beat up. Right. So mm. what? What are we going for? Well, the, th the thing is, he's very inconsistent because, like, that What's first video, he's he first petitions playing the submissive yes i want i want a, a woman to beat the shit out of me and then he switches in the same video and goes you dumb white bitch which is a dominant thing to yeah. say oh, wow. which so it, it is kind of confusing his messaging gonna, is not yeah yeah there mm. might be drugs or mental illness yeah, yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well you think this dude is not mentally ill i don't know <laughs> i don't know perfectly I normal know. i i i he's think he's the sissy of fremont street yeah he's famous do you think that if we went to fremont street and we were like do you Where's know the where they, they would be like, oh, yeah. If you yeah, asked, if you asked ten That's times, Doug. someone will be like, yeah. Yeah. I don't right, think yeah. it's a good looking. Are you gonna give him a hand job, sir? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta tell you, yeah. I would go and watch. I would watch this guy do anything. Me too. Yeah, yeah he's riveting. I, I yeah. would a hundred percent watch. Yeah. This I would dude. pay a dumb white bitch to go do it. That's what I'm saying. Isn't your reach law big enough where we can get somebody Isn't over there? I think I'm. Legal. You know this goddamn COVID. I'm supposed to tour San Francisco, and um, but I mean it's not going to be for a while. Are you but not I mean, going to get this dude a ticket? <laughs> I don't think he could put together going. To the show. Uh -oh. <laughs> if I'm like, hey, the tickets at will call. I don't think he'd be like, I know how that works. You, know? Wait, wait. <laughs> you got to will call. I just want to see him get fucking dressed. I know. I mean, I'm dying to know what this dude's wardrobe is because we haven't seen any of it. He's, yeah. Now hold on though. I'm trying to I'm trying to put things together. So he's like, come do, come give me a handjob in my shithole. I'm just give you a beer and is, a pack of smokes. Well, it's a good offer. Yeah. Is it is the depravity? 
the hook. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, is some girl out there grimy enough to be like, yeah, dog, I want to get dirty? Is that the idea? Mm. I think it's one of two <clears throat> things. I think there are people that would do that because of that. Grimy. But I think there's also people like us who are like, yeah, I'll try. I'll, I'll go over there for that just because it's going to be funny. Free smokes. Yeah. For, I mean, there's, got, there's a group of people. Like, if there was a the female version of this and they were like come over for the laugh and the story if i'm not married you can do it yeah yeah Yeah. i mean because it's gonna be a great story and all i'm I'm gonna all all my way over i'd just be saying well this is gonna be my new closer yeah Yeah. dude i mean i'm gonna get the who's got that story this guy nobody the sissy of Fremont. The frissy of Fremont. Um, the are you, are you doing any more dates before the year? I'm actually in Omaha this weekend. Oh. oh. I think the shows are sold out. Good. Um, and I've got, let me think if I got anything else coming up. I got New Year's in Cincinnati. Nice. Wonderful. I got New Year's in Cincinnati. Good for you, man. Are you doing the Funny Bone? In it, Omaha? Yes. Say what's up to Colleen. Colleen is me. the absolute. Oh, Shouts wow, out okay. to Colleen. The absolute Colleen, best. At the time I was touring with my dog FIFO, who's no longer with us, she found a dog psychic to read FIFO because I had mentioned that FIFO had anxiety, separation anxiety. Isn't that the sweetest thing? I mean, what woman does that? The biggest oh, so racket sweet. in the world is dog. How dare you? I, FIFO is, was so much better after the that. The biggest Shut rack- up. The, I mean, so if you were like, man, I don't know what to do for a living. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a no, dog. No, Josh, it's real. Yeah. Yeah. He told me it was all real. Like, did he, did she touch the dog? Like, how did the. <sighs> we met at lunch uh-huh. and Fief sat on my lap. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and the lady Tell looks, <laughs> it was so crazy. I had the same reaction <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> And the lady I looked like, at. Who the fuck did I marry? <laughs> yeah. Well, Colleen suggested it, and yeah. I was like, "What? What can it hurt?" This is the difference between what broads, can it hurt? broads and guys, though. If yeah, someone I mean, said to me, "Do you guys. want somebody? Do you I want do, somebody to read your?" I'd be like, "No, I don't fucking." What? Well, do you want to know what she said? Yeah. Okay, so she looked at Fifo deep into his eyes, mm-hmm. and she said, "You were abused." And Fifo was like, "Well," like he said, "One for no, one for yes, two for no, no," and she goes. <laughs> She goes, I see a hairy guy who masturbates in front of you a lot. Shut up. And Thief was scarred by watching you masturbate. Shut up. Do you masturbate in front of the dog? No. Oh, okay. Totally. I couldn't finish. Probably came in dog's no. faces. No. Well, God. It's a horrible woman. <laughs> uh, I like to see that's where your line you is. You didn't come on your dog? Fuck no. <laughs> I loved FIFA though. He so was the much. best, man. He was the best dog. Rest in peace, yeah. sweet Fief. He was there great. he is right here. Is yep. it? That's him with six tits. Six yeah, tits. <laughs> why does he have six titties? <laughs> Somebody drew it. Somebody drew it. I love six teeth, FIFO. Yeah. That makes best him Best dog. Yeah. He was the greatest. We, um, we had to. Shelter boy. I got, we just got a dog. We got him over quarantine and he came with nuts. Oh, that's special. And they're not supposed to. No. But, um,. My wife didn't. She was like, I don't want you to cut them. She loved them. She was like, they're so cute. She kept saying, how come his nuts are better looking than yours? I'm like, are we? Because <laughs> they're perfectly round. And yeah, they're and so tight. cute on little doggies. Yeah. yeah and, and I've got a couple of years on them. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. A couple, they're not going to look great when he's six. Oh yours God. probably really hang. Mine do. Yeah. Mine got a little swing. Yeah. Yours are going to be so low. No, but I don't have Hanging. naturally like, like, I don't have especially low big hangers like but your dad Shafir does. does has big long. It's hangers. a Jew thing. Uh, Diaz has. You know how long ridiculous. I've seen Joey's nuts. I mean, did you think there was something going on when you first saw them? The first time I saw him <laughs> was in the '90s in Seattle, and he brought him on on stage, and I was like, D- "Are those are like you okay?" Yeah, yeah, I was like, "Are those your nuts and somebody else's nuts? Like, are you carrying two sets of nuts in there?" Jeez. They even at that time they 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 were. Right, and that's like 25 years ago. Cool. Crazy, but yeah. I remember. You know, when I met him, he was two hundred and fifteen pounds. Wow. He wore a three-piece suit on stage. Joey mm. wore a three-piece suit. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I started with him and Brody. Yeah. Oh, so, I just thought about him this morning when I woke up. Christina, How I was weird. there the night he walked off stage, and you know nobody bombed like Brody. Yeah. And even back then, and he walked up to me. And he goes, "Steve Brody isn't funny," and I go, "Yeah, you're funny." He goes, "No." 
you know who's funny? And I said, who? He goes, Brody Stevens. And I said, who's that? And he said, you'll see. And he came back the next day as the person you know. Wow. Oh, wow. I, it was the craziest thing. Wait, meaning like he didn't do like the drum stuff. Like he just one day no, became Brody just, and he started doing he drums. He was Stephen and... Brody. So I, yeah, he to the day, name. I always yes. called him Steve. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's how I knew him. But yeah. he changed his name and his persona. Yeah. In a night. And I was oh, like, wow. Yeah, this is either genius or insane. But yeah. A little bit of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It takes a little bit. All right, we got to run um, yeah. our closing song, Where Where's the Bodies, Garth, by <laughs> Fart Simpson and Dubree. Um, where should people, where do you like to send people most to, to see you and find your stuff? Uh, you know, for tour dates, it's comedianjoshwolf.com, but I'm at Josh Wolf Comedy on all socials. And like, uh, if you go to my Facebook fan page, I do two live streams every week. Oh, wow. One on Monday night, which is tonight. I do something called the High Live where I smoke weed and take mushrooms and turn on my camera and oh, just, do, just do really weird shit. I drop. It's a bizarre show. And then on Tuesday nights, I do a, it's like a comedy game show. Sickler's been on there a bunch of times. It's called uh, Controlled Chaos. It's just weird, fun, half an hour of ridiculous, both on my Facebook fan page. Nice. Perfect. All right. So nice to see um, you, and I'm so happy you Thank you for coming in. Well. And I'm great happy to you're happy you too, man. It's great. That's awesome. Yeah, yes. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, thank you for our Simpson and Debris. Here is the jam. Garth Brooks, Kidnap Terror, Possible Mass Murder. Garth Brooks, Kidnap Terror, New Hostage Nightmare. Garth Brooks, Kidnap Terror. The true mommy hit me in a deal. Said he gotta beat the knees in. And I've been killing him into the beam. <sighs> Where's the bodies? Have you seen them? Feel they behind the eyes, blessing in the skies. Know the day me life, lucky to be alive. Run away, don't try, so to show out overnight. Can tell if I'm a psycho, that's alright, that's alright. I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. I'm thriller, I'm my jack, I'm hijacking your night drive. You might not get your way back. What did I say? What did I say? Don't interrupt me in Studio G. Don't even know who they want me to be. It's official. Who fucking with me? Burn everybody 300 degrees. Apparently I'm competing with everything under the sun. If I shake your hand, you better believe you got someone. Garth Brooks. Kidnap. Terror. Oh, I'm scared. I really like that. Garth Brooks. Kidnap. Terror. Terrifying. He's a terrifying person. Garth Brooks. Kidnap. Terror. Violent mass murder. Garth Brooks. Kidnap. Terror. Let the conversation begin. Something like God. It's better not to start with me. I am just a regular dude. But double cross me, they be looking for you. I'm down to earth. Sing happy birthday to me. I'ma put you in a hearse. I hope it hurts. When my records put you six feet in the dirt, it's a curse. If you lock us, we'll be there in the verse. Man, I'm my word. I've been my life on it. Feel the stadium we're coming for. Even if my heart is cold, always on beat. Like a white summit, turn a blue collar into red stains. You know how I run it, keep running. Kidnap terror. She looks like she's scared in the photo. Garth Brooks, <laughs> kidnap terror. This is just who I am. Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, 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 so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans. <laughs>